Hello there! Good evening, guys. How are you? Alright. Let me... Wait, let me mute myself, otherwise I'm gonna have eco. Okay. So. Hello, guys. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do today. Like, I got this idea in the weekend. It felt like, hmm, no one has ever done this type of run. But I'll explain everything very slowly. So, let's start by looking at the chat. Oh. Okay, now I have the streaming counter uh, online, I mean I can see it now, not like previous time where I was like uh, uh, surprised that suddenly we were like 150, this time I'm gonna know it. So, uh, first of all, uh, you guys can tell me if uh, you can hear the game and you can hear me and if the microphone is working well, I tried to fix it a little bit. So, let's see, good evening, yes, uh, Frappuccino is my new waifu. You gotta suffer, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna suffer in this type of run. I have some strats. I didn't think anything too deep, but we will see. Forgot I had this in the background and got jump scared. <laughs> My favorite Italian fear and hunger. Oh, thank you so much. Hello. Yours and game audio are okay. Okay, I can hear both. We can hear both. Perfect. Guys, leave a like to support the Frappuccino. <laughs> Can hear game and you. Oh, okay, okay. My mic is great. Okay, I used some filters on it. Uh, even though it's just the dual shock, maybe it's doing uh, better than uh, previous time, probably. Praise BD, Frapolo, God of Watch and Learn. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that's an interesting question, uh, Bard, uh, Wandering Bard. What ending am I going for? So, let's explain. What is this type of run? I have made, thanks also to my very dear friend Zeusone, who made me the graphics, I modified this one. This is the things to do, or I guess in this case the things we are not allowed to do. So, let's take a look at them. So, I'm not allowed to use the attack command, I'm not allowed to... Uh, oh, thank you so much for the follow, who, who was? Uh, Joshua GX, thank you so much my friend. I'm not allowed to use uh, uh, attack command, I'm not allowed to use the skills uh, inside of battle, and this will be very important for later. Then, uh, guard is allowed. I can't, I'm, uh, I'm always allowed to guard because, uh, uh, you know, since I'm not able to use the skills in battle, I still want a way to be able to waste turns without doing anything, and also I don't want the run just to be lost because I'm not able to to, to guard a coin flip attack. So guard will stay allowed. I don't care. Like, uh, you may not like it, I don't care. Guard is staying allowed. Then, we cannot have in battle auto battle characters. What does that mean? That means uh, we are not gonna be able to use in combat ghosts, skeletons, moonless, all those type of characters that attack automatically because, you know, that would make me lose the point of an item only run. But, if I'm able to take them to a ritual circle without fighting anyone, I'm allowed to sacrifice or make love with them, you understand that kind of stuff. I cannot use the debug spots, so the spots uh, that aren't intended to be in the game, uh, that give free stuff, like, uh, I don't know, the one at the start of the game that gives torches or uh, blue vials, that kind of stuff. Also, uh, I mentioned the no debug spots, uh, because there is a glitch that I may use, the one of the coin, maybe some of you will know it. Uh, I may use that one, but we will see later. And also we are going to be playing on terror and starvation mode, uh, and there is a not written uh, rule here. We are gonna try to defeat uh, all the bosses in this mode. It doesn't matter the order, we're gonna try all, because my plan, and this answers the question made before about uh, the... Um, the ending that I'm gonna get, we are gonna try to create a save file able to go to all the endings in the game. So, what does that mean? That means uh, if we get Najra, we are screwed if we want to do ending B. If we get the girl and, uh, I don't know, the girl dies, then it's our fault, we are cut off of uh, ending A. And also we cannot get the girl at the start because if we get her, we, ca we are just cut off from ending B. I mean, we can just kill her, but we have to do some little strategizing on that. Also, if we want to get ending C, as you know, since we are playing on Terror and Starvation, we are gonna have to fight another boss. I will not spoil it for those that don't know it, but there is a new boss fight in Terror and Starvation mode if you're, if you're aiming for ending C. And also uh, ending B just because uh, f for the funnies. And um, 
ending D, sorry. And ending E is basically... Do doesn't even need this challenge, uh, after all. Like, you can complete the, the game with ending E without killing literally anything. Now, let's go back to the other screen and they explained the rules. And let's take a look at the chat. Sorry if I <laughs> just stopped watching at you. So, no guard, Jesus. No, I, I allowed guard, actually. Bro, suicidal, no skills in battle. Yeah, no skills. It doesn't matter if they are skills that, like, uh, 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 deal damage to the enemy, heal me. No. No skills allowed. Uh, no talking? Yeah, no talking. We cannot We cannot talk. And this also mean, means that we cannot complete Buckman's quest, because, uh, you know, the Gaunt Knight requires you to talk. Bro, simulates Dark Souls. Yeah, I gotta say, I got the idea of the items only because uh, I was watching uh, uh, Wimfa, like, uh, some months ago uh, on Bloodborne, I think it was items only. And then this weekend I just thought, oh, maybe I should do something like that for Fear and Hunger. Uh, rip the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so, no moonless. Yeah, no moonless, absolutely. Uh, the boys, uh, the boys are auto attackers. I wasn't aware since I haven't gotten necromancy yet. Yeah, ghouls and skeletons, uh, and also moonless, and uh, if I remember correctly, also the demon key. I don't remember if the, if the demon key assists you in battle, but uh, yeah, those are auto attackers. Pinecone pig is allowed, and I mean, without that, probably the run wouldn't be achievable. I know. I had a talk with uh, Dark Raccoon about this. He said uh, with pinecone pig, the challenge is over, bro. The, 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 the maximum uh, raw damage without considering poison or burning or that kind of stuff we can do is like 100. The challenge is still there. I would like to point out that I only redesigned and fixed some graphics. I am not responsible for your suicidal choices in game. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how you get rid of Lagarde without being able to kill him with pheromones. Yeah, I'm interested too, honestly. But you know what? You know what would be very interesting? Uh, I have an idea for that, uh, and it's an idea that may surprise some people. I mean, some people may be happy to see that something that usually is not so usable this time may be considered viable. Dark Souls only items are entertaining. Yeah, exactly, I like to watch them. So, I was thinking there was a challenge where you play a game but can only use items similar to Fear and Danger items. Uh, no, 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 absolutely. I'm not gonna... I, I'm still... Um, I still don't know which games may I bring after Fear and Hunger Fear and, and Fear and Hunger Termina. I played, like, uh, Heart of Darkness for a, uh, a slow amount of time. Uh, it's another RPG, but... Uh, and I liked it a little bit. It wasn't exactly in the kind of style of Fear and Hunger. It was less uh, raw and less cruel, but I still liked it. I was thinking... Um, uh, what... Was Olmir hairless before or after becoming a god? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Uh, let me let me think about it. Uh, I mean, uh, while you're in the past in Mahabra, you're able to see him, and I think he doesn't have hairs. So maybe he was bald already? Maybe. For Polo, which character is your favorite character in the whole first game? Oh, the Pocket Cat, of course. <laughs> I said this uh, out of time, so I really love the Pocket Cat. There's also a special uh, shorts that I want to do about the Pocket Cat when I get the time. Now... Let me drink a little bit and then we start. <sighs> okay. So, I gotta be honest. I said I have some strategizing, but you know where I didn't have a strategizing? I don't know which character should I play as. So, the problem is... Uh, uh, let me explain. We cannot use skills in battle, so... Uh, Darcy, despite having a uh, good equipment, uh, doesn't offer anything else. Uh, Ragnavalder has infinite food, basically with Devour, and potentially Marksmanship uh, to use the arrows outside of battle. Even though, I, I gotta be honest, I will try to not use Marksmanship. I will try to not use it. Anki can give us uh, early access to some affinity with the gods, but the point is, to get what? We cannot use skills, I mean, at least not those uh, in battle. Like, uh, we can use outside of battle healing skills, uh, but uh, I don't think that's worth it. And uh, Kahara. Kahara has one thing that could be considered okay, which is that he doesn't need to use, uh, let's say it in this way, two options to get dash, because one option gives you escape plan also. But uh, I gotta be honest, uh, this is a hard choice. Let me see at the chat... 
It's not the RPG, RPG, but do you never try the Nuzakana? Very relaxing RPG Maker game. No, I didn't. The only RPG Maker game I, I played were Lona RPG, uh, Black Souls, Monster Girl Quest Paradox, uh, Fear and the Hunger, and I think, uh, like, very, very, like, uh, in the past, uh, I played, like, some sort of, uh, you know, horror RPGs like Eeb, uh, Mad Father, that kind of stuff, but not completely. Uh, so you want to defeat Voltail. You're not allowed to defeat him by talking to him. Exactly. Exactly. No talking. <laughs> you might try Burst of Games. Uh, we will see. We will see. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, using Anki is probably the worst choice also because he cannot equip certain armors. And I think defense is gonna be a very important stuff in this kind of run. Is an escape plan a skill you have to use in battle? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, and in fact, that's why I said Kahara isn't exactly relevant for that aspect. Also, yeah, we are not going to be able to use the skill escape. We have to use manual escape. Uh, uh, maybe some of you don't even know this is possible. If you click uh, uh, the back keyboard command that you have on your keyboard to go back in action, you can actually go to a menu where you can run from the battle without using the skill run. You will see. Can you beat the Fear and Anger as a girl? I see in your video about kinda cheats in a game, I try it and after some time instead playing Anki. I started playing girl without any skills but with my items. Uh, okay, wait. Mm, I didn't understand completely, could you repeat please? Does Ragnavaldus bow count as using items considering it uses arrows? That's what I wanted to discuss with you. Can we ban marksmanship? I don't like marksmanship, I don't like it. Can we ban it? I mean, I am gonna ban it regardless, <laughs> but I, I just want to be sure you are okay with that. Like, uh, this probably is gonna kill me, but... Uh, yeah, exactly, I want to ban it for more pain. That's exactly the reason. Okay, so, Ankh is the worst choice. Kahara, what does Kahara gives to us? Uh, lockpicking. Kahara gives to us lockpicking, which is something we can use outside of battle. Darcy doesn't really give us much except uh, some good equipment at the start, but that's gonna be uh, useless in the long run. Uh, what? Do field skills count? Because lockpicking and, gu and guard would count. Yeah, those counts. Uh, we are just gonna ban marksmanship because I don't like it. Kahara is fitting for the run if you ask me. Lock him, money merc isn't bad. Yeah, that seems, uh, you know, that seems the best idea. I mean, uh, Ragnavalder doesn't give us anything else useful. Okay, this is time. The first one that says a name is gonna be the name of Kahara. It's your turn, guys. You have nothing to add but all of my videos. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Bob! <laughs> No, Bob. <laughs> That's it, Bob. That's the name of Kahara. Uh, I believe the girl the last uh, guy is referring to is a knight. Uh, knight with items only. Knight with items only. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's surely viable. Uh, at the start, you get a, a good advantage because of the armor. I don't know if uh, later in the run it becomes relevant. Also because uh, uh, Darcy is easier to get than Kahara, honestly. So even then, if we want another uh, another Carter, we are sure to get Darcy very easily. Okay, it's time. It's time for Bob. Okay. As you know, Terror and Starvation. Play the intro. I'm very nervous. This is like a... This is the first time I attempt this, uh, and uh, I am very happy to be able to share this with you. Uh, oh, oh my god, I don't remember. So, if I fell into an honest life, I think I get some silver coins, but those are gonna be useless in the long run. It was a burglar to get lock picking. No, wait, it was pick. No, wait, pickpocket is stealing. Burglar is lock, lock picking. Yeah, exactly. Okay. At this point, abandon my comrades or fight to the last breath. I mean, since escape plan is gonna be useless, because if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the um, escape plan is applied only if you escape using the escape skill. So I'm gonna fight to the last breath. 30 silver coins. Are we gonna use Pinecone Pick for the like 40 minutes straight? Yeah, and I am. A, I have already planned something to talk about in, this, in that time. Because uh, 
let's say. I know it can be a little bit boring just watching me using the Pinecone Pig, but there are some things that I want to discuss with you about the future of the streamings. It's time to save. We're gonna overwrite this one. So, I have the chat on my left side of the screen. I have the game on my right side of the screen. Let's go. Good luck. Thank you so much, Lucas. Okay, as you know, if we enter from the entrance, like from the um, um, frontal entrance, we're gonna trigger immediately the dog since we are playing in Terran Starvation. The plan is just to either... Like, let's, just, let's explain the plan. You know, there is a guaranteed way to get an uh, explosive vial in the game in the infested part of the mines. Uh, let me turn on my, uh, like my brightness because I'm not able to see anything. Okay. There is a guaranteed empty scroll. The problem is it's behind the Spectre Knight. And if you remember correctly, the Spectre Knight has a very big problem with it. In Terran Starvation, it will not be killed immediately by using one explosive vial. So... At the current moment, I don't have a clear plan to defeat it. But I'll figure something out as we go along. The plan is to... Uh, get the pinecone pig in some ways. If I'm able to get an empty scroll, I, I accept that. I'm gonna get the pinecone pig immediately. And uh, there's also another thing you may have uh, forgotten. How do we get a safe way to farm with the pinecone pig? Because uh, we cannot uh, attack the left arm of torture. So he's just gonna attack us while we try to farm. Uh, we also see Peach Black. Okay, let's do one thing. Since uh, you see Peach Black, I'm gonna use uh, a torch. Uh, just for the, the quality of the stream, I don't want you to, to just look at a blank screen for like uh, three more minutes. So this may be a problem if I'm not able to find the pinecone pig uh, uh, soon enough, but I think it's better for the quality of the stream. If you blind him with a red vial, does he stay blind when you run away? That's a good question, I never tried, but I think it will... will... Because I don't think the, the developer programmed the, the developer programmed a way to remove the status effects from you. But wait, no, 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 wait. Uh, maybe I'm wrong because uh, if I remember correctly, that particular status effect uh, is uh, removed uh, from like the crow molar and stuff at the end of the battle. And I don't think that's a line on the crow molar. But still, I'm not sure about that. So we're gonna see. And meat cleaver, a good weapon that we cannot use. <laughs> Like, you know, uh, I gotta say, no wait, I, I will tell you this thing that I wanted to say once we reach the... Oh, sorry, uh, hello, Iron Shakespeare. I will tell this thing that I wanted to say once we reach the point in which we farm with the pinecone pig. Good afternoon. Oh, it's afternoon at your place? At my place it's like uh, evening, it's 8pm. Uh, Interesting. I'm so happy to see, like, uh, the community comes from all different places with all different time zones. Uh, it's something I really like. Uh, like, uh, when I was younger, there weren't a lot of uh, communities in the sense that, uh, you know, it was still early for the days. Oh, there is a guard there. It was still early for the days uh, of uh, online stuff. Uh, and um, because of that, uh, there weren't a lot of communities, at least not a lot of communities that I knew about. Uh, and seeing uh, all of you different people uh, here is just heartwarming to me. Please? Soulstone, okay. Uh, no, I mean, uh, what are we gonna get with a soulstone? <laughs> Explosive vial. That's good. We have access to the thicket if we want. That means uh, infinite, uh, infinite uh, lucky coins. That's the thing I wanted to tell you. We are not allowed to use debug spots, but I will allow myself uh, the uh, infinite coin. What do you think about this? If you are not, uh, if you don't like this, I will just not allow it. You can tell me, guys. Do you want me to use the infinite lucky coin point, or do I not use it? Hello, pumpkin fights. Look at all my 8pm bros here. Infinite coins good. I don't like it. Seems cheap. How do you plan to obtain the instructions for the pinecone pig? Uh, I'm gonna use an empty scroll to get directly the pinecone pig. There is a guaranteed empty scroll behind the Spectre Knight, so that's my plan. Or I'm just gonna uh, pray RNG Jesus that I get one empty scroll. Also, I have some plans with uh, getting more party members. Infinite coin, reasonable. We'd love that you had less stream. You deserve all the coins. Can we pinecone pig farm off of the Hydra? You can, but the Hydra talks. That's one thing that I don't like. Uh, the Hydra talk. Oh 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 oh. Okay, we start with running. No. Fifty-two damage. Oh oh. 
Um, uh, well, guys, so um, as I was saying, as I was saying, we're gonna start our first attempt at items only run. So I'm gonna start as Kahara, which is called pick another name, pick another name, chat, pick another name. Bob, no. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't count as a name. Re Bob, Re Bob, Bob Chu, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Okay, I guess Bob Bobby wins. Good run. Thank you so much, Danny. Wait, uh, why isn't the ad pop, uh, showing up? Please, ad, please. Please, stay with me. Uh, whatever. Well, it doesn't appear. Thank you so much, Daniel, for the $10 donation. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think this run deserves uh, uh, that type of donation, honestly. <laughs> I died in three seconds. But thank you so much, really. I really appreciate your help. Like, you donated even previous time. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Daniel. But I don't understand why the, the, the stupid... Oh, finally. And now you have to tell me. Was it loud? Was it loud, the, the advertisement? Because I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna call it Bobby. <laughs> because someone said Bobby when I asked for it. No! I went into... Oh, yeah, ah, I went into fear and anger difficulty. We're gonna go with Bobby. Ah, perfect volume. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Actually, kind of scared me. <laughs> that's for all the people that are just uh, watching this in the background. They are all, they're, they're gonna they're gonna be scared when they hear the chrome roller. Okay, terror and starvation. Is chat not working? What do you mean? It's is chat not working? Is it blocked? So burglar. Prototype Bob died. Now we are perfected, Bobby. <laughs> Chat on stream not moving. Oh, okay, it's working. Okay, okay. Perfect. Uh, I expected this to go this way because you know the 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 command to escape. I mean, I could have just loaded the the save file, but now the name has to change. I I could um I gotta say the the escape uh, that uses the battle command, not the skill is uh, less reliable than the one uh, of the skill. I don't know by how much, but uh, I mean, you just saw. I wasn't able to escape for two times in a row. That's just not normal. <laughs> I'm at work, just walking in to say congrats to the stream. I look forward to watching your this after work. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Good work, then. Next one is Rob, the Robert, then Robbie. So, for the quality of the stream, once again, I'm gonna turn on my uh, my torch. And we get this layout once again. I'm gonna be a, a little bit faster. My plan is to reach very, very uh, fastly the library in the first level, because I hope on that library I'll be able to find either a pinecone pink instructions or an empty scroll. If we're able to get the pinecone pink, then I just, I just I just need a way to destroy the stupid left arm of torture to get the, uh, you know, a farming spot. Or we can use the butterfly. I didn't think about this. We can use the butterfly in the courtyard to be able to safely farm without having to, uh, to uh, without having problems. I could use the hydra, yeah, but I didn't censor it, <laughs> so that would kill my channel. I didn't censor it, and I think uh, YouTube won't appreciate it. I'm not sure because it, technically there is nothing wrong with it. This is not hard mode. This is terror and starvation mode because I want the possibility to save since we are not going to complete the the run in one attempt. I mean, in what in one evening only. I want to do all the endings. You will see. You will see. What does the butterfly dude do even? Uh, so the butterfly dude uh, doesn't do anything. Uh, you get uh, uh, asked by the Cockroach King to kill it for the quest to increase the affinity with the God of the Depths. And if you destroy all the three organs that are um, uh, spread around the dungeon, then the butterfly will disappear and there will be the soul of the butterfly on the ground, which gives 50% uh, evasion, if I remember correctly. And that's it. How you manage to censor the game for streams? So basically, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, uh, this... Uh, wait... Chat doesn't match with actual chat, doesn't it? Uh, uh, what does it... Wait, are you sure? I, I did put a little bit of delay because previous time I I wasn't able to to see... Um, uh, sometimes like a previous chat didn't completely move, like uh, uh, it just popped sometimes uh, and for the rest of the time the chat was just blank. 
I did add a little bit of delay in order to to be sure it works properly, and apparently it's doing so. By the way, uh, by the way, uh, as I was saying, uh, I was able to censor them because I decrypted the game so that I could look at the game files a little bit, and in particular I went into the the image point. I went. Oh wait, uh, I cannot use. <laughs> I have to escape. Um, I went into the game files in the images section, I went into the enemies, and there is the different limbs of all enemies. And I just um, I just uh, turned them into a black uh, a black bar by using a paint.net. Another explosive vial. He went into the stinger folder. <laughs> there isn't... I, I wish there was a stinger folder, that would make my, my job way easier. Wait, uh, is there no guard? Oh, in this layout the guard is on the other side, true, true. It's gonna be here, if I remember correctly. And there is also a rusty nail. If you guys watch the, the previous stream, you will know I hate rusty nails. <laughs> it's just a love and hate re uh, relationship. What exactly are the limits on what the pinecone pig can bring you? Uh, there is a precise list. I made a video on the channel about all the items that you can get. I do remember them by, by memory. Uh, wait, uh, what? Uh, do you see that guard? <laughs> I don't remember all the items, unfortunately, so my best bet if you go if you go into the end section of the video I made about the uh, the, the way to farm infinitely with the pinecone pig, you will see all the items that you're searching for. So guys, as I was saying, we cannot fight. So we have to run. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Throwing dart. We have a, maybe a way to destroy the torture's arm. Now... How do you play with items only? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out too, Draconia, no worries. Pray for the rust inhale. Never! Never! So, here there is the, the skinning knife. This is all our only hope in case uh, we lose limbs until we get, uh, you know, uh, lots uh, of loot from uh, the pinecone pig. Uh, almost have to start a new run. <laughs> Thank you for explaining Napoleon Mac Bonaparte. Wait, I didn't. What, what happened? Did I forget to, to, to read something? I've never seen an on-screen chat that progresses at the same rate as the live chat. Oh yeah, that, fa that kind of part. I can finally watch your live stream, but it's 2 a.m. and I'm super sleepy. But the live jump scare reaction is so good, lol. Good luck for your run. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm sorry it's uh, 2 a.m. in your time place. Uh, I'm really sorry. Hope you will be able to catch the VOD later. Okay. We reached this part. Now. Wait, why the blue dragon message got uh, deleted? Did you? <gasps> so, um, guys, uh, the 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 run is over. <laughs> the run is over. <laughs> Let's uh, empty scroll, please. Give me an empty scroll. Book of Enlightenment. <laughs> the run is over. <laughs> <laughs> you should stream yourself playing Termina in the Fear and Anger Discord voice chat. Um, I tried a little bit in the Discord voice chat, but when I play these kind of games, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, let's say, especially if I'm blind, I'm really scared of getting spoiled, because uh, if you're in voice chat with someone, it's uh, almost uh, mandatory that at some point uh, someone is gonna say that phrase that maybe contains some uh, little spoil information, you know. Maybe someone says, uh, eh, don't, uh, don't get aficionated to this character because, uh, hmm, who knows, you know, that kind of stuff. So, now the real thing that we are missing is just a way to... We have already enough gear for Grogroth. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the problem. Uh, like, even with the... No, 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 no. Okay? Okay? Please, 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 run. I can't explain. I can't explain why I'm here. I'm here because I need the mocha book to get access to the butterfly. I can't explain. <laughs> you can climb out of the well. Yeah, for sure you can. Yeah, maybe someone can not expect that, of course, but uh, yeah, you can. Just attack guard, arm, and guard. I cannot attack! <laughs> I cannot attack! <laughs> the, the whole point of the run is I, I can only use items. I cannot attack. <laughs> Mocha book, okay. Now, if you're able to reach 
once again. Okay, we are not we are not gonna take the girl because I don't want to kill her if I want to go for uh, the uh, ending B. If I take her, I'm uh, uh, already going for ending A by default uh, between ending A and B. Best starting character for beginners? Uh, I would say either Kahara for escaping ability or Darcy for combat ability. But uh, for very... oh no. For very early starting uh, players, I would suggest Kahara. Being able to escape is just so valuable if you're because uh, at the very start of the game you're not gonna be able to take too much value from being able to fight properly. He can pick locks uh, and also because he can escape and he can get steel if you want, uh, but only if you want. And steel, uh, stealing items is very useful. There are a lot of good steals in the game. Okay, we're getting a lot of assassins handbook. Assassin handbook, <laughs> another one. <laughs> and uh, oh no, mouses. Uh, mice, sorry, my, the, the plural of mouse is mice. Scroll of the Church of Healing! <laughs> Studies of Olmir and use the mock-up book. I heard some people say Darcy. Yeah, it's Kahara or Darcy. Enki is for very well experienced players. Uh, Ragnavalder, honestly, I don't like it. Like, uh, I just don't like it. <laughs> steal from Enki? Uh, no, from Kahara. Enki doesn't get steal, unfortunately, in the starting uh, selection. So, no, I'm gonna go to the bunny masks later. Now, uh, well, I think we can start uh, with our farming method, um, at least uh, uh, we can try to optimize it by killing, uh, uh, by getting a lot of stuff from the butterfly soul and then by changing to, um, you know, the, um, the torture in order to, b to get extra things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to manually use this. What do you use lucky coins on? I, usu I usually use them on libraries, because um, libraries can just give you empty scrolls, and empty scrolls are just like any items in the game, almost. Uh, why not rag? I don't like it! Uh, like, uh, maybe it's considerable good, but uh, once again, uh, it's like, uh, you know, a Kahara that does slightly more damage at the start of the game. I don't like it. Honestly, but uh, the bow skill is uh, good in enough as bo also Bongo's McDongo's is saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just gonna continue escaping until I get some explosive vials to be able to deal some damage to Torture's arm. Uh, tw 12 silver coins, that that's not bad. Also, let me do something, because uh, if I accidentally click attack, I'm gonna deal damage. Let me guard, so in case I fail to run and I click, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna click attack. Okay, perfect. I'm a fairly new player. Yeah, then Kahara is definitely the way to go. I finished my first run with Kahara, and it was a very nice run. I mean, I did only ending E in the first run, but uh, I really enjoyed it. So, I think while we start... Uh, to get these, uh, this first achievement. Uh, uh, in terms of starter, I would uh, just try all the characters. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if you are starting, uh, you're not gonna be able to... Uh, have you guys seen how bad is the escape in the comment section? Like, if you're starting uh, anew, all the a lot of the characters uh, will just not be usable to you because you will just uh, not know how to play them exactly properly. I mean, of course, there are the cases in which you're just good at the, at the game by default, uh, and uh, just like that, you're get you're getting good stuff. But uh, still, I would suggest to start with uh, the the best uh, um, early game friendly characters. What attack items were in the game apart from explosive vials? There was poison throwing knives, if I remember well. Yeah, there are. Uh, poison dart, uh, which is called the throwing dart, does like uh, 20 damage plus applies uh, poison. There is also uh, throwing knives, does around uh, 100 damage. There is uh, the lantern that you can get from the... Um... If I remember correctly, the Dark Priests uh, that uh, deals damage and inflicts burning. There is uh, the Murky Vial that inflicts burning but doesn't deal damage. There is the Purple Vial, I think, that inflicts uh, poison. Then there is the Red Vial that puts blindness. Uh, and then, of course, the Explosive Vial. I think that's it. Maybe I'm missing, like, one of them. Yeah, in order, it's Kahara, Darcy, Enki, and then Rag. In my opinion, of course. Some people will put Ragnavalder um, before Enki, maybe. Or even uh, Darcy after Enki, but uh, in my opinion, uh, it's Kahara, Darcy, Enki, Ragnavalder. Pinecon got overworked, <laughs> yeah. I just noticed the butterfly. Yeah, I ch I censored that just to be sure you can never be safe with uh, with YouTube. 
you will need a lot of good luck. Uh, yeah, they are very little of options, but I have some things that I think will help me in the long run. Please, can you... Uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't bring nothing. Imagine the Pinecom Pig just appears on the battlefield while you are facing, I don't know, Grogroth, and he's just there because he wanted to see you. Imagine. So... Since it's taking a long, a long time just to take uh, the, the, the way to get the actual farming method, I'm gonna do one thing. Let me put on... Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Joseph Legacy. Thank you so much, my friend. So... I hope this isn't too loud, uh, also in uh, respect to my... Um, in, pro in proportion to my voice. Tell me if it isn't too, isn't too loud. Call of the Ugly Man. A bit loud, okay, let me lower it a little bit. Okay. Uh, how is it like this? It's good, okay, okay, okay. Then, I wanted to talk to you about something, so... Let's talk about the streamings. So, I have some ideas. Before I was talking with a Dark Raccoon uh, in Discord, and uh, he was telling me some ideas he did for Fear and Anger Termina. There is one very interesting idea that I have for Fear and Anger 1. First of all, of course, uh, I have already in my mind uh, this Saturday, probably, to do the Anki as ending without uh, empty scrolls. You understood it correctly. Anki as ending without empty scrolls this Saturday. And ooh, you cosplayed a Spamton. <laughs> That's so cool. I would love to cosplay a Spamton one day. I even looked up the glasses on uh, Amazon or eBay, I think. Uh, they were like $20. So, Anki is ending almost surely this Saturday. And uh, also, I have another idea. Pokemon. I mean, uh, not actually Pokemon. Fear and Anger Pokemon. We are gonna only be able to use Ghouls, uh, Skeletons uh, and uh, Demon Kid in order to attack. And uh, we, as uh, our main party member, we cannot attack, we can only use uh, items, uh, healing spells, uh, nothing that actually damages the enemy or that puts uh, debuffs or something, you understand? We are literally Pokemon Trainer in that case. And then, also, I, I wanted to... okay, that sounds fun. I wanted, more importantly, to... Uh, hear your opinion on one thing. I was thinking, I went on a tier maker, which for those that don't know is a site where you can make your own uh, uh, tier list. Does Moonless count as Pokemon? Technically no, maybe I will make it count, maybe. By the way, I was uh, uh, I was making uh, uh, I was going around in the tier maker and I noticed that there is a tier list of Fear and the Hunger character and I thought uh, would you guys like, uh, if uh, during a stream, I, I don't think uh, it has to be the whole stream, but uh, would you like if we uh, try to do a Fear and Anger tier list for the enemies, uh, in the sense of uh, the best enemies for mechanics, uh, for uh, uh, fighting choices, uh, for the damage, for the balance, uh, that kind of stuff, and also a tier list for the characters in the sense uh, uh, of how much I think they are good. Oh. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Draconia! Oh, it's you! Thank you so much, my friend! So, uh, a tier list for uh, uh, enemies, uh, mechanics and all that kind of stuff, and a tier list for characters in the sense of uh, uh, how much do I like them, uh, how do I think the story is conveyed, if it's good, if it's bad, uh, that kind of stuff. Would you guys like it? Because... Uh, I was having this idea, like, uh, there is a streamer in my in my, in my my country, no, I don't know if it's called country, Italy. In Italy, there is a streamer that is called uh, Sabaku no Maiku, and uh, I looked at uh, his uh, streaming uh, of um, Dark Souls tier list of the bosses, and uh, I just loved it. I loved uh, hearing what he thought about the bosses, about what he thought about uh, the zone, the battlefield, uh, that kind of stuff. I genuinely loved it. And I thought uh, maybe something like that for Fear and Hunger could be interesting. I'm, I'm happy you guys are saying it would, because maybe I'm gonna do it. Lost and afraid in the dungeons. No party to pick up in the slack. Wait. Uh, well, pitifully, no more Bobby. Now is your chance to be a big shot! <laughs> the low price of $4.99, you can own a Pinecom Pig. Uh, yeah, maybe also a monster tier list by prettiness. Uh, yeah, I live in Italy, uh, Kzailios. I hope I pronounced that correctly. 
Kromoler wins. Oh god, please don't become like Sabaku. You're better being yourself. Yeah, and I don't want to become like Sabaku, but I really like the doing that kind, uh, watching that kind of content. Uh, and you know, the the core of my videos is uh, I want them to to look uh, like videos that I would enjoy to watch. Uh, and since I enjoyed that particular live stream of the tier list, uh, I was thinking maybe something like that for Fear and Anger would be interesting too. Local Italian denies the right to, exi <laughs> to exist of Italy. Do whatever you prefer, you usually make good videos, especially. Love your Black Souls 1 and 2. Oh, thank you so much. I really like I really like making that series. Uh, especially, there is one episode in which uh, a mosquito entered my mouth while I was recording. And I just thought, uh, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna remove this. I'm just gonna put uh, a writing on screen that tells uh, a mosquito entered my mouth. <laughs> I had so much fun doing that. Sounds better than, for example, No Damage Run, so Pokemon Run sounds interesting. Yeah, No Damage Run, never. You know, this is another thing I wanted to discuss with you. I was having uh, this discussion with, uh, with a Dark Raccoon prior. Would you guys think uh, challenges that rely entirely, wait, maybe not entirely, but for a large part on RNG, uh, do you think those challenges are worthy or not? Because, uh, in my opinion, Let's take, for example, uh, uh, I know I'm, I'm gonna be blasted by the community, but uh, Iron Mon Kaizo in Pokemon. That, that challenge, you can be skillful how you want, there is a lot of thing, things you can do for skill, but there is a low skill ceiling, in my opinion, and there is a huge reliance on RNG. And uh, that kind of run, I tried it, I, I played it with... Uh, I played with uh, Chansey, if I remember correctly. I almost completed it. Uh, I reached like the, s the seventh gym, if I remember correctly. And uh, I just didn't like it because I felt like uh, it doesn't matter what I can do. I will never be able to fully be in control of the game. And I don't like it. What do you think uh, about this? Uh, not if entirely RNG. Yeah, it's not entirely RNG technically. Uh, there are some things you can do, but... Uh, in some moments you're pretty much screwed. Don't worry, Kaizo games are usually like that. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I'm not saying uh, that uh, type of challenge is bad, I'm just saying uh, I don't like it. I like uh, challenges that uh, you can... Uh, in, in which you can manipulate more the game, let's say. You can manipulate more it. What's your opinion on the girl? Is she a useful ally? She is a useful ally. You get it, you get her early game. She is gonna take a, a deadly hit one time, because of course after that she dies. She can uh, use items, uh, she can deal some very low damage by giving her the knife, uh, for example. Don't worry, uh, I'm also doing Pokemon Tabletop, which is amazing. I don't know about Tabletop, is it like uh, uh, Dungeon and Dragons? Uh, maybe. No, Kaizo really sucks. It's something fun to stream for fans, but it's really too much luck. Okay, okay, yeah, I think I'm on that same line. I know there are some things you can do to to decrease the RNG factor, like pointing out which Pokémon have high stats, which have low stats. But at a certain point, if you get a bad Pokémon, you lose. Do no legs challenge. <laughs> no, no, that sounds so tedious. I would prefer to see stuff that deals with a lot of different mechanics. Using lots of different mechanics to overcome the challenge. Yeah, that seems very cool on paper, actually. Fun to watch some crazy RNG, some, some crazy RNG happen. Would never play a challenge run like that, though. If you make videos without challenges but explain the story, theories and lore for, from the series, for me it's fine. Okay, yeah, sure, that's uh, that's uh, considerable good, yeah. Because at that point, I mean, uh, while the challenge uh, is played in the video, it's not exactly the main point. The main point is telling a story with a background. What's the difference between Kaizo and Nuzlocke? So, Nuzlocke is just uh, the basic rules, you know, you can only take one Pokémon each route, uh, if someone uh, uh, faints, you cannot use it ever again. Well, in Kaizo, you can only use one Pokémon at a time, you can change it uh, uh, with another Pokémon, one for each route, if I remember correctly. Once you enter a dungeon, you cannot leave the dungeon unless you do everything. And uh, that's very, very painful. <laughs> that's very painful. Spells only? Spells only. Apple 13. You just gave me a very cool, a very cool idea. Spells only seems very interesting. Play Olivia in Termina. That's the real no legs challenge. 
you know, maybe when I'm able to know more about uh, Termina, and we are gonna play it uh, on stream after I finish publishing the videos that I already recorded, we are gonna do the challenge of Olivia, just for the pure sake of it. It's like the ND? Oh, okay, okay, interesting. The Pokémon system we are using, it's Pokéroll. Oh! Tiny Pichu, Giant Onyx, oh! Lower run would be amazing for Fear and Hunger. Agree, I think uh, Mo the Dog was the one that did uh, like a Q&A with the old Bones Jones about uh, Fear and Hunger, if I remember correctly. Spells only sounds fun. Oh, interesting, I'm, I'm happy you are liking it. No Arms Challenge. Uh, yeah, that could be considered also spells only. I mean, uh, to use spells you don't need arms, so yeah. Pokemon is already grindy and tedious. Uh, also, yeah, you cannot overgrind in, um, in Iron Mon Kaizo because you cannot fight uh, wild Pokemon. If you accidentally kill one while trying to capture it uh, because you want to substitute your, one, your, your Pokemon, then that's fine. But if you abuse it, then uh, that's not fine. Olivia Fuse correctly can be one of the best characters. Oh, interesting. Do you prefer Fear and Hunger or Fear and Hunger uh, or Fear and Hunger Termina and why? Okay, so I gotta be honest. At the current moment, I prefer Fear and Hunger Termina. Not because Fear and Hunger One is bad. The opposite. Fear and Hunger One reminds me a lot of Dark Souls One, while Fear and Hunger Termina reminds me a lot of Dark Souls Three. Like Fear and Hunger One has a vertical map, and uh, there is a lot of travel to do, a little bit reduced with Blood Portal, but still uh, out of travel to do. And also some mechanics and enemies are a little bit janky, a little bit. But Termina feels like Dark Souls 3 in the sense all zones seems way more connected, enemies seems uh, like having actual, uh, how can I say it, uh, life. I, I, it's something weird, I don't know exactly how to compete. And also the the entire uh, zone, the environment, uh, seems uh, a place you're supposed to travel in, uh, into and use as a way to prevent battles with enemies. Uh, I hope I explained it correctly. Like, uh, there are uh, very, very, very big corridors uh, in Termina. You can literally juke enemies in those corridors. Uh, in Fear and Anger there are uh, mostly small corridors, you can still juke them. But technically, uh, it's not, uh, let's say, a, an environment designed to juke them. Like, there are a lot of places in which you can just get uh, locked because, uh, I don't know, a guard uh, placed itself on the door, so you can just not pass at all. That kind of things. Uh, what is he doing with the thing creature? <laughs> I'm, up, I'm trying to get an explosive vial, because I have only one, yeah, I have only one. If I'm able to get another one, then I think I can try to, de to destroy the Arm of Torture. And if I destroy the Arm of Torture, then I get another uh, spot in which I can grind without having to go through, di through dialogues. That's the gist of it. Blind Challenge. Uh, mm, let me explain. While you're blinded, you technically see. And also, you technically can know the map if you if you play the game enough, because the maps are, no, are not randomly generated. They are randomly selected between uh, uh, pre-made maps. So once uh, you know how a map is composed, then you know how to do the challenge, uh, basically. That's why I don't think a blind challenge would be interesting. Also because, I mean, I'm, sh I'm streaming the run. What am I streaming? A black screen! <laughs> I mean... At the current second, I'm streaming me spending hours farming items with a pinecone pig. <laughs> but still, that's not a black screen. Terminal is still being updated. Yeah, that's true. Also, I didn't complete it yet. I'm really, I'm really curious to see what will happen. Can't you buy explosive vials in the cave village? Yeah, the problem is uh, uh, I accounted this and uh, think about it. To reach uh, the cave village, you need to pass uh, through a yellow mage. Uh, because there is a yellow mage that he is placed in a way that uh, you cannot uh, go past him without triggering his hurting at least once. And they want to have a secure way to be able to destroy its leg before going there. You understand? Because I don't need my limbs, uh, but if he destroys my leg, then I'm just gonna move slowly for the whole playthrough. And that would be very annoying. Blind challenge will be boring for us to watch. Yeah, exactly, Marv. That's exactly what I was uh, thinking about. Maybe to do alone, it's interesting. I also asked about it on the Discord, if I remember correctly, and someone did it. Hello, Zanef Zanefiero. 
technically true, the only game changer besides that would be much lower accuracy while fighting. Yeah, and also it depends, if you're doing it on uh, uh, Fear and Hunger difficulty, you can just rely on other party members and you just guard, uh, or just use items. If you're on hard mode, you just do the same thing, or you just become the healer of the party. Uh, Fear and Hunger challenge where all that happens to your character happens to you. You know, that sounds a very interesting challenge. I would need to hire a bunch of people to like be assassins, guards, uh, to go around with their PP uh, uncovered. <laughs> but that could be a cool idea. Uh, who is the coolest party member? In my opinion, the coolest party member is uh, Kahara and... Uh, wait, uh, did the music stop? I didn't put the loop. Wait a second. <laughs> You know what does that mean? It means we were here for at least 15 minutes, because this loop of the Spanto music, it's, it's uh, 15 min minutes long. Okay, I did make it start again. Did you, by chance, find Fear and Hunger through F95 searching for games similar to Black Souls? Uh, no, I found it because while I was playing Lona RPG, Lone RPG is a very interesting RPG game with a lot of uh, age elements, so if you're not into that kind of stuff, uh, probably you will not like it. But it's uh, really more than just an age game. And uh, while I was playing it, uh, I found another uh, content creator, uh, was called uh, Heartless Angel Ketsueki, that was bringing Fear and the Hunger. And that... Uh, I, I listened to some soundtrack, and I just decided to, to play it uh, to play too. I started it... Uh, I also started it uh, very early on the channel, actually, before I even published the Black Souls. Uh, but I didn't continue it because uh, no one was interested in it. Like, uh, I, w I got like 20 views uh, in the, the first episode of Fear and the Hunger, when I first published it. My Fray Italiano che parla di Fear and Hunger. Hello, Matteo Ballavini! How are you? I didn't notice the music stopped. Yeah, I, I just um, I just realized because uh, I'm hearing it a little bit louder than you guys, uh, so that's why. Did you but No, okay, okay, yeah, I already answered to that. Uh, Lona is a very interesting game, but very difficult. Yeah, I have a, um, a series on my channel in which I completed it in uh, Doom difficulty by doing almost all the quests. Did it ever get updated? It is it, it's getting uh, constantly updated. The, um, the developer actually is putting a lot of effort in it. Maybe when a full version is released I'm gonna be trying to to bring it once again on the channel with all the new quests and stuff. Ooh! Throwing knife! Okay! We have the chance to be a big shot now. Are there enough merchants for that to be viable? Uh, if you mean about the items only run, then maybe yes, in my opinion. Uh, how long did it take for your channel to start growing? Uh, so, uh, about that, uh, let's say, when I first started, I just uh, didn't get a lot of, uh, uh, a, lot of uh, a lot of views. I started like uh, September, uh, early September, maybe late August, with Lone RPG. And Lone RPG got a lot of views. Then I played uh, Black Souls. It got a little less views, but I just played it because I wanted to. I liked it. I mean, uh, I played all the games on my channel because I wanted to. But especially Black Souls. I was so uh, interested about bringing uh, uh, a full run with uh, all the possible stuff that you can do in the game. Then Monster Girl Quest Paradox, and then I started playing Fear and Hunger, and my channel really grew. I went from like having uh, 600 subs to na to the to the current point. Uh, what, how much uh, we, how many we are here? 120 spectators, guys. We are 120 spectators watching a guy that is entering a battle with uh, a naked guy to get some items from a flying pinecone pig. Are you really understanding what has my channel bec become? I'm so happy that I'm able to share this with 120 people. Song name, song name is uh, Spamton Fame from uh, Deltarune Chapter 2. If you search Spamton online, you're surely gonna be able to find it. Ah. Okay, so... No, I meant for the you can only use equipment that you both challenge. Would that be viable? Are there enough merchants for that? There actually, there is no one that sells equipment that deals damage. I mean, there is the explosive vials, but apart from that, if I remember correctly, no one. Literally, no one. So no, there is no way. What's your most hated weapon? I hate the Sergal Spear because it's supposed to be a big deal and then it's just useless. Okay, here we are guys, it's time. We're gonna use a throwing knife on the left arm. Please hit, 
please? Are you serious? Okay, we are continuing. Throw in dart, because we want to poison him. Please. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. We have it. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Apple 13 Oh, it's you. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm honestly still surprised that a fellow Italian covers such a game. Even if I follow in English, there's still a sense of pride in knowing that Die Forte. <laughs> thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, I'm... Uh, uh, I love how... The community, the Italian community for this game is actually pretty big. I love it. I didn't expect it when I first started the game. Uh, are you sh serious? <laughs> Did anyone like this game because it reminded them of Darkest Dungeon? Mm, I played Darkest Dungeon. I didn't like the game because it reminded me of that. Also because uh, it doesn't remind me a lot of that actually. It reminds me more of um, a Berserk. Doesn't Pocket Cat sell a weapon? Uh, yeah, oh, if you count uh, uh, the the selling children as a way as a merchant, then yes, it sells the claymore, which is a very powerful weapon. And uh, yeah, in that case, then the run could be potentially viable. Big shot, miss shot. <laughs> Can you please tell me how to kill a goal effectively? Oh, um, if you enter the fight with the goal and you talk and you tell him prepare to die, he will just stop attacking for the rest of the battle. He will just not do anything else. And you can just uh, defeat it, very slowly. It doesn't matter. Imagine losing your arm to a dart. <laughs> That's Torture's life. You know, I actually like Torture. He's not my favorite character of the game, but I actually wished it was a playable character. I actually wished if you sell, like, Bachman to him, he would just join your party. Uh, what part of Italy are you from? I was in Umbria, Perugia area a few months ago and uh, it was beautiful. I'm from uh, Lombardia, it's in the northern part, uh, northern part of Italy. Uh, another explosive vial, yeah, once we get like... Uh, uh, 60 explosive vials, we're gonna stop. Once we get 60 explosive vials, no, I mean, it's definitely gonna be lower than that. Oh, wait! Oh, it's not the ad, but, but still. Thank you so much, Face or Mercy, for becoming a member. Oh my gosh. I really appreciate that, man. Now you can use the emojis and you have access to the to the little badge of Chrome or, uh, near your name. Thank you so much for the support, my friend, really. I really appreciate that, my friend. But why is, isn't the ad, uh, the ad rolling? Hello, Mr. Advertisement. There isn't supposed to be delay in this one. There isn't supposed to be delay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, Fake or Mercy. The the ad just doesn't roll. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Wait, uh, let me lower it. Okay, guys, sorry if I killed you. <laughs> sorry if I killed you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry if I killed you. The, the volume was too high, I can imagine. I heard it uh, a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. I didn't set it up properly. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna lose like 20 spectators just because of that. <laughs> imagine all the people watching in the background. <laughs> Well, Ficor Mercy, be happy. You were able to jump scare the entire chat. <laughs> okay, so you literally jumped. <laughs> I'm sorry. Romito, can you please give me explosive vials torture? Uh, uh, Larissa, basically, uh, the advertisement for the new member uh, appeared, and there is a, now your chance to be a big shot, and it was very loud. <laughs> it was a cool animation. Oh, thank you so much. I, I placed it there instead of uh, the the um, the the uh, guy because uh, I think that's uh, less interesting in my opinion. Kahara knowing damn well that the man he's looking for might die any second, but decides to play with the silly little pinecone things instead. <gasps> Dude! You reminded me! We have to reach we have to reach Lagarde, otherwise we're not gonna be able to progress uh, in the ending C. Okay, um Okay, oh thank you so much for the follow. Tomek uh, J Zierski. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Okay, so uh, how many explosive vials? How many? Uh, we have uh, uh, two explosive vials. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. 
Let's go in the, the, the prisons. Do we have enough torches? I have two torches and the potential to make zero. Okay, that's enough. Strong chat memory energy. <laughs> I'm playing Minecraft while I watch. Oh, nice. You know, actually, I have a funny thing that I can say to you. Also, let me remove the, the farming music since now we are not farming. So, I, I did have Minecraft. I don't have it anymore because someone stole my Microsoft account. Literally. My Microsoft account got stolen. He changed the password. I tried to seek some help with the, the you know, the support uh, thing for the Microsoft uh, accounts. But they uh, just told me, if you lost your account, uh, that's your fault. Bruh. Then what's the point of having, uh, uh, <laughs> like, a support for anything? 30 minutes already passed. No, that's not exact, because uh, uh, this timer, the timer of Legarde, doesn't take count of uh, the time spent in battles and in menus. So, technically, it should still be possible to reach Legarde without problems. I just hope I'm able to reach, the, to reach it. Also, now it's our chance to be a big shot. Please! Please! Skill issue, yeah, support really said skill issue. Would multiple pinecone picks on different characters bring multiple items? Technically, the game only checks one time, so no. This is regular difficulty? No, it's terror and starvation mode. In fact, I'm really scared I will not be able to destroy the, the left leg in one single hit. But let's go! Please? Okay, one leg is destroyed. I don't know if that disables uh, completely... Uh, hurting? Okay, it does, it does. Now, now, oh, thank you so much for the follow, Stein. Thank you so much, my friend, I really appreciate it. Won't Legard always be dead regardless? No, in Terror Starvation it won't. In Terror Starvation it won't. So, now, it's time to use the throwing dart to destroy the left arm. Wait, uh, am I actually able to kill him with one explosive vial? Uh... I'm gonna use the explosive vial to destroy the other leg, and then I'm gonna use the the throwing dart on the head. Okay. Still locust th swarm, okay? Eh? Please? Stop? Uh oh. No, please. Stop. Please. Please. Okay. I just need good RNG. Please. <laughs> Stop using locust swarm. Dude. Dude. Dude, come on. Come on. No. No stun for days. Okay. Oh, D. Thank you so much for the 9,900 IDR. I don't even know what money that is. Let me double check. IDR currency. Indonesian rupiah. Oh, thank you so much, my friend, for that. Why isn't the ad rolling once again? <laughs> Stupid ad. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Like, all of your support is really good for me. Like, I love it. You guys are magnificent. But please, add. You should be helpful to me. Please appear. <laughs> Please. The ad isn't appearing. <laughs> but thank you so much once again, D. I really appreciate it. Oh, finally. <laughs> but wait, now the, the, the advertisement is a little bit low because I had to low it because of uh, now your chance to be a big shot. I will increase it just a little bit for ne the next time. Thank you so much once again, D. Okay, now the problem is... Uh, how much life does he have on the head? Because I don't remember. Do you guys remember how much life does he have on the head? Because otherwise, because I, my, my, my question is, do I destroy the arm? Or do I try to destroy the head? I would guess 20. Uh, you got some cool animation, I like how it references the game. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Low health is all I remember. Then... Uh, to increase a little bit, we are gonna get jump scared again in five minutes. <laughs> Go for the head. Okay, let's do this. Throwing knife. Please hit. Yes. Mm. Okay. I used a soul stone. I didn't want to, but I did. <laughs> Two opium powders. Okay, it's not time to take the items. Actually, let's just rush for the guard. <sighs> Okay, let's take this chest. This may contain something that actually helps us. Please. Five tinder boxes. Uh, uh, no, I hate it. 
Red herb, roam it. Let's take the rope and let's go down to the infested part of the mines. I think all the human enemies have 20 HP. No, that's not true. Uh, I have a counter argument. The elite guard. That's my counter argument. That's my TED talk. Also, yeah, no worries about these guys. I'm not gonna censor them. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Also, while I'm here, uh, can I buy 88 silver coins? I'm gonna buy explosive vial. Explosive vial. Explosive vial. Explosive vial. Explosive vial. You will understand in a second. Is Phoenix Saturday? <laughs> Wait, villager. <laughs> Are guards even human? Uh, technically, yeah. They are just. Oh, <gasps> I almost jumped down. Isn't there literally. Oh! Uh, yo, does this jump scare too? <laughs> Let's see, once the advertisement arrives. <laughs> I could lower it. No, wait, it doesn't. This is the donation, it's not the, the, um, the member thing. But I think I can just do this to help you jump scare the chat. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation of 20,000 uh, uh, rupees D. I really appreciate that, my friend. Oh my gosh. Why are you donating me this much? I'm literally streaming myself uh, going around with a pinecone pig uh, and uh, getting items from uh, the torture. Like, is this worth it for uh, donations? <laughs> Thank you so Oh, there it is. D has entered the room with 20,000 rupees. Okay, I'm gonna lower once again the advertisement in case someone uh, became, becomes a member. Sorry, it's 3 a.m. Your stream is very fun. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Hey, dude, how are you today? Oh, I'm really good, actually. But uh, you made me remember one thing. I have to put this one. I actually, do you like it? I changed it a little bit thanks to Dr. Zeusone. He changed the graphics a little bit uh, because uh, the previous one was a little bit uh, empty. Now it has more, more stuff on it. Do you like it? Is there any way to escape with the little girl without her becoming the... Ah! Spoiler! Spoiler! No, wait. Uh, I I'm sorry, George uh, pa 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 Pacheco. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, I gotta... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, man. I'm doing this just because you spoiled. But uh, yes, there is a way to live with her. There is a way. There is a way. <laughs> there is a way. No worries. Uh, now I want to see if you're in the Hunger Carters drone in the CDI Zelda art style. <laughs> that would be interesting, sure. Oh wait, uh, okay. I should be... Oh no, I entered a battle with the ghost while I was on the screen. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I guess. Now it's time to escape, please. Okay. Draw jaw of the, jing of the jingle. <laughs> I usually fill my closet with, the, with it. Why do you eat it? <laughs> Okay, please, Legard, you should be alive, right? I missed the spoiler, which is good. Oh, I'm I'm happy to hear that. That was a very a, a very big spoiler. That was very big. So I'm happy you missed that. Please, Legard, be alive. Please, Legard. Please, Legard. Uh, I missed this. Okay, yeah, you missed the spoiler. Okay, Legard. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Okay, she's alive! <laughs> Crow Molar, you stupid idiot! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Hello there! Yeah, maybe you don't know this. Uh, this is a terror and starvation thing, if I remember correctly. It's ex exclusive to terror and starvation. Okay, Legard is ours. Yeah, he can do that. Uh, I love it. He also will attack you if you, if you don't pay attention. I didn't know Crow Molar did that. Well, now you do, so you can pay attention to it. No, no, no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, take advantage and attack. I have an idea. It's time to use the explosive vials. Guys, let's go. Let's go. Perfect. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about this stupid fella forever. Ah. <sighs> Let's also take the Book of Enlightenment with us. A friend in the wall. Why is uh, Crow Muller so cute? He's the Tsundere. <laughs> he's the Tsundere. Mid shield acquired. Thank God he's fragile. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I was sure the, the, the explosive vials would have helped me. Okay. Now that we have secured the Legard, there isn't anything else that can go wrong, technically, as far as I remember. 
Like, there are no uh, timer-based events that can go wrong at the current moment uh, for me to get all the endings. Uh, Rod admit. Okay. <sighs> now, we can go back to Torture. And technically I could try to kill the guards to secure the whole dungeon. But for now it doesn't seem worth it. Also, now that I went down there, the crow molar is triggered. I want to give crow molar kisses and pet his feathers. <laughs> Especially because you shouldn't give birds IRL kisses. I mean, the crow molar is uh, nice, like it's cool. The crow molar is very cool as a character. Also, if you know his backstory, he's even he's a little bit even even a little bit cooler. I'm not gonna spoil it in case you don't know, but uh, it's very cool. Let me put guard on both in case I I mistake I use the me I mistake the command. Okay, this terrifying presence couldn't possibly be this cute. <laughs> Another explosive vial, perfect. Will this run be submitted to YouTube? Of course. Like, uh, also, guys, I need your help because I'm not so um, so good with this kind of stuff. Uh, when a run ends, it is available in the live stream section of my character, of my uh, channel. Is it gonna be permanently present there or is it gonna disappear like on Twitch after some time? Like, do I have to re-upload it uh, as a video or... Uh... Or is it, uh, is it just fine? I'm here, I was busy playing Uncharted. Oh, hello, Super Mew Kitty Cat. How does he lick his knife with no knife arm? <laughs> That's a good question. I think it is permanent, I don't think so. I think it stays, I think the VODs stay. Okay, oh, thank you so much for the follow, Dreaming Arcana. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm sorry if uh, not all the, uh, sa the new subscription appear, but uh, really, this PC is a mess. Permanent, I think. There are some streams that ended nine, nine years ago and still around. Oh, okay. I haven't seen other YouTubers with ones from... Uh, oh, you have seen other YouTubers with ones from months ago. Okay. Pinecone thing. Uh, no, no, we are just entering Trotro's fight because we want to, Super Mew Kitty Cat. We are not, uh, <laughs> we are not using the Pinecone thing. <laughs> Can you make a video on his backstory, on the backstory of the Chrome Holder? Um, there is not a lot to talk about the, the purely the, lo the 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 lore of the the Chromoler, but some people asked me about doing videos about lore of all the characters generally. I may do that in the future. The reason I'm so skeptical to do this uh, is that videos about that already exist. Like uh, Move the Doc already Move the Dog already did one. You, it would be like I don't know. I already made that tutorial about empty scrolls. Someone else just goes ahead and does a tutorial about empty scroll. Like it's useless. In my in my vision, but maybe I will do. All right, I forgot the music. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I forgot to put back the music. Do you think there will be a Fear and Anger three? Of course, there will be Fear and Anger three. The developer uh, got uh, told uh, on the Discord that uh, the sales of Fear and Anger Termina went better than the ones of Fear and Anger one. So I don't see a reason why Fear and Anger three shouldn't appear, other than uh, it's out of work technically. Oh my gosh, we are 130 people looking at a guy resetting a fight to get <laughs> explosive vials. Propolo new Vadi Vati. Oh! Oh! Oh wait, no! This is not the advertisement for, <laughs> for <laughs> a member, this is the advertisement for the Crow Molar. <laughs> Where are you, Crow Molar? Are you here? No. Let me reset the area. Okay. My knife, you see, is coated in poison. The smallest cat can be fatal. <laughs> Licks knife. <laughs> Depends if he wants to continue the story. Do you think 3D1 will be the last? 3D1? The, you mean uh, Fjernanger Termina? Uh, oh, the third one. Okay, sorry. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Dark Souls 3 was the last one of the Dark Souls. Uh, but uh, I don't know if he is gonna do something similar to that. Uh, Frappolo will be playable if you're in Danger 3. <laughs> Who am I? Am I gonna be like the character that analyzes the situation, uh, that uh, studies uh, the, st the study character? <laughs> I really hope all the contestants in Termina become playable. Actually, I think the developer is doing something like that. I think he's slowly making them playable with the time. Mr. Polo, there is a trick in Termina that if you go upstairs uh, with Olivia then equip the wheelchair and go down, uh, you can hit and crit and kill people because of her speed. Uh, what? Really? 
Like, uh, that is a little bit of a spoiler, but I'm not playing as Olivia in my first run, so that's okay. Wow. That's interesting. And that's uh, real realistic, in a way. <laughs> that's realistic. <laughs> Just a question so I can make some jokes. Do you know who the leader of Burman Army is? Um, I mean, uh, I know... Uh, I think it should be called the Kaiser, but I still don't know anything about that. Uh, what do you think the third game setting is gonna be? What do you hope the first game setting should be? Okay, uh, let's say... Uh, this is just purely my assumption. I don't think this is correct, but the, the first game reminds me a lot of uh, Dark Souls. The second game reminds me a lot of Bloodborne for now. The third game, I would not like it to look like Sekiro. I would like it to look like... Um, Dark, more like Dark Souls 3. Like, uh, I said uh, it reminds me of Dark Souls 3 in the, uh, previously, but uh, as purely as ambient, it reminds me of, uh, of Bloodborne. And I would love the, the ambient of the first game to be like the one of the Dark Souls 3. Honestly. Did you play Termina yet? I have a blind run on the channel, it's not completed, and uh, after I publish the last four episodes that I recorded, we're gonna continue it uh, in live streams. Uh, one third game will look like Garfield Kart. <laughs> you know, actually, I saw a video about Garfield, like, uh, literally this morning, and it, it was very cool. Like, the, the whole community built uh, very interesting things around Garfield. Like, uh, it's fantastic. The Garfield franchise evolved into something magnificent, in my opinion. I think it will take place somewhere in the 70s, 80s, or maybe modern day. Oh, modern day, you know, actually also a, fut a futuristic uh, uh, scenario would be cool to see how the this level of cruelty can be developed in a futuristic level. If you were to try that IRL, <laughs> so cool, I will watch it after this live ends, but I'm really interested in blind runs about Termina. There, yeah, there is a, a, it is a blind run uh, uh, that they have on the channel, so if you're interested in that, I think you will like it. There are also some shorts that I uploaded, uh, uh, that I uploaded um, in, this, in the short section of my channel about that, uh, that uh, blind run. I believe that the third game would be in some giant cyberpunk city akin to Neo Tokyo from Akira G Anime. Religious uh, cults, uh, biker gangs, that would be cool, that would be very cool. I agree. You can't uh, repeatable steal from the same encounters, can you? No, you cannot. After you steal, there is a switch that is turned on and it will stay on. So when the game checks uh, when you try to steal, uh, is the switch on? The game s says uh, yes, and so the steal doesn't work. The Don't Escape Flash series did that. Oh, yeah, I played the Don't Escape. That's, uh, that's another thing. I played the Don't Escape. I played the first and the third. The second one, I actually watched someone playing it, and then I just didn't want to play it afterwards. Another game that's more like the Dark Souls would be cool. I kind of don't like the idea of a modern day or far future fear and anger. The idea of it being a horror we have more uh, familiarity with it's, uh, is bad. Um, that's not completely true. Uh, like, uh, usually, having a lot of uh, familiarity with something is what makes you fear even more it, at least from what I think I understood uh, by watching a lot of analysis. Like, uh, the more, and it's like one of the reasons uh, Shining is a movie that went uh, so well. It's made to seem uh, familiar to you in a way that uh, the, all the situations and the characters seem realistic. So when they become mad, their madness uh, drives you even crazier because uh, you are literally uh, uh, you're literally seeing a possible realistic scenario. But maybe I'm just in too deep. <laughs> Modern day Call of Cthulhu is really cool. Waiting for Frappolo or P Olivia run. <laughs> Uh, which do you prefer, the first or the second Fear and Anger? Yeah, I said uh, at the current moment, uh, the the second, because uh, um, I feel more, I feel it more open world uh, in a certain way. To to summarize very shortly the the discussion that I had, doesn't uh, what people fear depend a lot from who you are, though? Absolutely, but uh, you know, like uh, there there try there are some things that try to be. Uh, the objectification of uh, uh, of uh, things, like uh, you know, a good uh, t a good movie. 
there are some uh, things that are the canons uh, in which a good movie has to enter in order to be considered good. Uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, in the same thing, uh, there are technically some things that are considerable generically way to scare someone. Of course, someone will react in different ways to those scary things, uh, but generically those are things uh, intended to be scary. This is a very con convoluted uh, discussion that I'm having, I know. And also, since uh, English is not my main language, I'm also having difficulty in expressing myself properly, since uh, maybe I want to say something, but I don't know the exact words for it. And also, I need to, to drink a little bit. Wait a second. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's another thing. You can also take something familiar and twist it completely. That's another thing that can give uh, a lot of uh, tension to the viewer. Okay, I think we are we are we did uh, enough. Uh, wait, uh, okay, I think we did enough uh, farming, but uh, we still didn't get uh, like one explosive vial. <laughs> I have uh, uh, how many explosive vial? Five uh, that are from the ones that I bought with the silver coins. Uh, uh, where are my silver coins? Wait, uh, uh, forty-two silver coins. Legard didn't sign up for this. Does Legard have a Pinecone Pig as well? Uh, no, he doesn't. I don't think uh, having two... You know what? From the code, it doesn't seem like having multiple Pinecone Pigs help with, helps with that. But we can try, honestly. We can try, but... Uh, wait, I don't have a stick, so I cannot make another Pinecone Pig. We can try... You know what? Let's do one thing. Let's do one thing. There is a stick in the courtyard. Wait, actually, there is also a stick in the backyard. Oh, no. So, uh, can you turn around? Okay. Now, uh, one day I'll have a pinecone pig of my own. <laughs> Le Grasso. <laughs> I can also do this. So I don't forget. I think the concept of warping familiarity is an okay way to attempt horror, but it's not what I really like Fear and Anger for. Uh, I don't know, you have a lot of interesting, fairly smart video view, views on the subject. Wait, wh where was the stick? Did I already take it? I did, so let's go into the, the backyard, the courtyard, sorry. Praise all me. La Porco Pigna. <laughs> I used to build pinecone pigs with my sister way back then. Really? Did you used to build the pinecone pigs? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Also, now, let me go for a second on the SAS screen because I need to go uh, up there. I think there's gonna be a stick, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there is not the, the cool music here. <laughs> Just wait a second and I will put it back. Oh yeah, there, there, there is a stick here indeed. And there is also a red vial. Okay, let me go down back again so I don't have to lose my channel because of funny bunny masks. Okay, I'm back. Please take a picture of that and post it, I wanna see. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I can post it uh, on the Discord later. Also, let's pray to the statue in case I forget. I love how the game and its soundtrack is creepy and terrifying, but the music is, uh, of the stream is adorable. Yeah, we, are, we have reached the point in which uh, there, is, uh, there is a lot of things that are just friendly to us. You're interested in playing Lobotomy Corporation? I watched someone talking about uh, Lobotomy Corporation. It seems uh, fine. Maybe I'm gonna play it. I don't know if it will be on YouTube uh, Because I still have to understand it is different from the type of games that I usually bring here on YouTube I either play, you know, uh, H games or... Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Space Ender A I play... I really appreciate that. I play either, uh, uh, you know... Um, horror games like uh, Macabre games, uh, Mahabra games <coughs> Or... Um, or I just play uh, age games uh, for now, at least. Hi, Frapolo. Hi, Magenta Purple. Wait, did I keep the Pinecone Pig to Lagarde? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's see. I used to build a Pinecone Pig like yours uh, until I took a Guard Stinger to the knee. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm getting sticks from the from the bunny masks. Ragnavaldo watching the man that killed his family so fast. <laughs> You know, that's a thing I, I would love. More interactions between Lagarde and Ragnavalder. There is an interaction near the entrance of Mahabre. But if you enter Mahabre while in the past, you can completely skip that interaction. That's uh, sad. A little bit sad. I'm not sure how to take that, but all of them are pretty terrifying. 
Okay. What's an H game? That's uh, we can say a game with sus elements. Uh, there are uh, uncensored uh, bodies. Uh, we can say it like that. I, I'm, I have to be careful about what I say because I don't know if YouTube will ban me for, for things that I say. I don't know how is the terms of service about that. So let's say games in which there are uh, naked bodies uh, and uh, maybe also scenes in which uh, there is uh, erotic elements. Uh, let me say it like that. How is your experience with RPG Maker or horror games in general? Not too big, but uh, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm um, I'm becoming better. Like, uh, with Fear and Danger, I became a lot of better. I'm not usually big into horror games. Uh, Fear and Danger scratches my personal itch of a different genre that just happens to be unsettling and disturbing. Uh, okay, yeah, I kinda agree. I remember this guru game called Demonophobia, but that's just downright nonsensical guru for the sake of it. Remember when you tried to find the English guy to penance armor? <laughs> I know that language. Oh, you know that language? Oh, interesting. That's uh, Russian. I think it's Russian. Oops. I accidentally used guard, but no problem. Even Pinecoon Pig is telling you to heal. <laughs> True. That I, I, can, I could actually heal, but I am keeping uh, the, um, the healing items because I want to do something. Once I reach Mahabre, I will get access to an NPC that sells Alchemilla. And if I remember correctly, it sells the Alchemilia that gives you uh, the, the light blue vial. Even Pinecoon Pig... Uh, no, yeah, yeah. It took me about a minute uh, of this to realize that repeatedly running into torture and running was on purpose. Yeah! <laughs> we, are <far> we are farming the <laughs> with the Pinecoon Pig! <laughs> YouTube is, pretty, uh, YouTube is pretty puritan when it comes to nudity and sexuality from its content creators. Even s sex AD channels get slapped for lewd... Ta oh! I didn't say it, I didn't say it. I watched the 6 hour long video about the Fear and Anger Termina. <laughs> this game gives me the same vibe of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, yeah, they have some kinda similar elements, uh, even though in my opinion they're not so similar. I think he sells all Alchemillas. Uh, I don't remember if he sells all, because there are three Alchemillas. Uh, I think he sells one or two. I'm not sure. Are you gonna bring the visual novel Monster Girl Quest? No, I'm not gonna, because um, there isn't much to do in that. Uh, like, it's just me reading or playing a scripted, a sort of scripted battle. That's not funny, and I think it's not funny to see. Not like, uh, you know. Seeing me fighting repeatedly with the uh, torture is funny. YouTube did not ban naked yoga. People naked baffy taking baths or shaving and... Oh, really? Te technically, I mean, because uh, YouTube just, just doesn't like H games. Uh, but, uh, and I, ju I just want to not lose the channel. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he sells Chewal Camillas and the Cooking Book. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If I remember correctly, that's the correct answer. Come on, can I get uh, can I get some uh, explosive vials? If I get some explosive vials, I can continue the run, please. Yeah, Monster Girl Quest is a visual novel. Well, Monster Girl Quest Paradox is a full RPG. I started playing it, but then because of the fact that uh, YouTube started annoying me with uh, eh, this video has to go 18 plus, then I just stopped bringing it because I don't want to risk problems. Please, uh, Pinecon. <laughs> Imagine Corona from Soul Eater in Fear and Anger Termina. Do you have escape plan? I don't, but that doesn't matter because with the this run command, escape plan doesn't trigger, if I remember correctly. What is happening? We are trying to, to get explosive vials, but the game is giving me everything except explosive vial. Yeah, I can buy more explosive vials with money, but I would like to uh, use them to purchase uh, uh, either soul stones uh, or uh, uh, mind restoring items uh, from uh, the vendor in Mahabre or Alchemilla, because Alchemilla unlocks uh, purple vial, which is uh, a way to... I think it unlocks purple vial actually, I don't remember correctly, but, I'm for, but for sure it unlocks uh, a vial that is able to deal damage. This game made me super depressed and literally gave me nightmares. <laughs> It just starts giving you, like, Miasma or the Penance Armor out of spite. Imagine, uh, imagine getting the Penance Armor out of this. 
How many coins do you have at this point? It's like 50, if I remember correctly. It's 60. 60. Farming and chatty, uh, chatting works then. Yeah, it works. Like, uh, we are 110. And I'm really, I'm really happy to see that. Like, uh, you are enjoying this much just staying in the stream, uh, looking at me getting uh, uh, wooden bucklers from a, from a flying pinecone pig against a man with, without a har an arm that is licking a knife, just talking about uh, some things. I re I'm really happy about that. Okay, so the sound Crow Muller makes is engraved into uh, my mind to make me freeze up and look around to make sure I don't run into him. <laughs> you know, there is a guy that I know that has uh, uh, it as an alarm clock. Imagine waking up to the sound of the Crow Muller. Imagine. There is a worse game that makes you depressed. It's called My Lovely Daughter. You have to make... Uh... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that seems... Uh... Terrible! I mean, uh, maybe it's ter it's creepy, but oh my gosh! Look at little guy go, little miss, my little piggy. Okay, I think uh, you know what? I think we can try to do something. Uh, I can if I enter Mahabre, I lose completely the access to the vendor in uh, Cape Dweller City. That means I lose completely the access to explosive vials. Uh, Light blue vial, squeal, and something else that isn't important, probably, because I don't remember it. Hmm... Should I take the cube, of, the cube of the Depths and enter Mahabre in order to be able to get more books? Hmm... I don't think so. Waking up next to Crow Muller, I would call him my baby girl. You make them and make them like you and work for you, and you give them gift, then sacrifice them. <laughs> it escalated so quickly. You make them, you give the, you may, you give them gifts, and then you sacrifice. You sacrifice all of them. Uh, Trotter is thinking Kahara and Legard are cats. <laughs> the game made me depressed for one week. I like having company while playing Fear and Anger myself. Oh, nice. We're talking the we think we're talking the a terrifying presence and uh, center the room noise or the co noise. <laughs> Come on, he's giving me. I think I have like f uh, ten wooden buckler. Let me actually after I get my next items, uh, my next item, I'm gonna check how many wooden buckler do I have. Please, give me an item. Okay, scroll of the highway, man. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Uh, no, there it is. Where, it is. Where is it? Seven! Wooden buckler! Seven! This run is gonna last forever! Huh? You know, guys, uh, we can have a discussion. Do you want me to also farm while offline so that the next time that we enter the run I have more stuff? Do you want me to do this? Or do you like just watching at me farming? Because I'm feeling a little bit sad for you. <laughs> 100 people in to see the items only, and I'm just entering the battle with torture. Nah. I can make a poll about that. I can make a poll. I will make a poll later because I don't know how to do it during the live stream. I enjoy listening to you. Oh, okay. Then, uh, uh, you know, guys, I love this. I love this. So I I'm gonna continue. Like, uh, thank you so much. I feel so happy. It's so, it's so cool just being able to chill out a little bit in, uh, in the streaming with you, just uh, farming items. <laughs> we love talking to you. Aww. Torture throw the knife at Pike and Peak. <laughs> Aww. Thank you so much, Gans. I love you too. I don't mind this farm. It's good to talk and chill. I'm now here for Apollo. Where is the rusty nail? The rusty nail... Actually, you know, the rusty nail may be a serious problem if I don't pay attention. Because now, for the moment, I don't have infinite uh, green herb. Later, yes. For now, no. It's nice to have time to chat and hang out, and nice to have times when you've got to focus on the game. Oh, okay, then. I guess I'll just continue. I didn't expect you to be so happy to see this. Yeah, I'm not gonna endure this by doing this for too long, no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for the suggestion. This is the most invested I've been in a community for a long time. I agree. 
I tried the, with other communities, like I tried the... Uh, how is it called? Uh, when I played the Yu-Gi-Oh! I tried on Dueling Book, uh, I tried the GOAT format, uh, then I played uh, on the Monster Girl Quest community, on Black Souls community. This community is just lovely. Not to say the others are not, uh, but I got the most invested in this one. For now. Raw meat, okay. For sure there are rusty nails in prison and enters, not sure about other places. No, in other places there are not, if I remember correctly. There are bird traps uh, in uh, the entrance of Mahabre, but just that. Russia, Russian fear and anger content are for funny. <laughs> I was saying furry. Horror communities are generally wholesome. Yeah, I, I, I didn't expect it, honestly. I was expecting uh, like uh, it to be a little bit different from this, but uh, it's pretty... It's, it's very good, actually. I love this community. That's what Trotter had, had to go through while being captured. Consider what happens in the game, you would expect something else from the community. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, if you if you do... I don't know. If you go on uh, uh, Monster Girl Quest Discord, uh, uh, almost everyone uh, uh, is about... Uh, no, I mean, not everyone, but a good part of the community is about uh, what is the best Monster Girl. Uh, uh, like, um, uh, do you like this Monster Girl? Do you like this uh, and that? Uh, and okay. Then, when it comes to this horror game, I would expect uh, it to be a little bit more... Uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, mysterious uh, in a scary way instead uh, it's not there are 113 people watching me yeah loloso uh, 90 99 i actually have the number next to me now so i will not get jump scared i don't enjoy jump scare games those are uh, those are bad uh yeah yeah i gotta agree like if i played five nights at freddy's uh, yeah, not edgy. I don't expect the, co the community of another game to be to be edgy, but not exactly uh, uh, open. Open. I don't know how to say it. Uh, not solar. Okay, not solar. That's the, the the term that I was trying to think about. Uh, by the way, I played like Five Nights at Freddy's in the past. Uh, I liked it a little bit, but never played the sequels. Uh, and the only other game that I played that has something similar to jump scares, but are just not jump scares, and it's good. Uh, it's Subnautica. Subnautica is gorgeous. The constant tension built through the game is perfect. I'm starting to get hungry doing this hard work. Oh, Kahara is hungry. Oh, oh, oh. It's either fearsome game with nice community or nice game with fearsome communities. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's a kind of good summarize all the communities in the world. I think the turnip uh, is uh, yeah. It gives uh, food. Uh, oh, it's. Buona fortuna, thank you so much, uh, FE3000. Thank you so much. Can Pico Pig give you empty scrolls? I wish. <laughs> I wish he was able to give you empty scrolls. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine being able to get empty scrolls through the Pico Pig. That would be so cool. Subnautica rocks. I love that game. I'm playing Below Zero right now. Yeah, Below Zero, in my opinion, is not as good as the first game. But I still liked it. There are a lot of people that prefer the first game because, you know, oh, the Reaper Leviathan is cool, because uh, in the second game there is nothing that scares you like the Reaper Leviathan. But I still like the creatures in the second game, honestly. Maybe the Empty Scrolls were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> That's a good vision of it, the Empty Scrolls. Uh, it's the, the, the explosive vials that uh, Trotru isn't giving to me. Does hunger drop from entering exiting battle? Uh, no, it doesn't. But for the time in which I'm in the overworld, the hunger slowly dra is drained from me. Fallen London is a great scary game, Ke creepy and fun, but very long. Interesting. This is the weirdest mugging I've ever seen. <laughs> also, I got the Finding Mr. It a name for ending in Fallen London. That seems a very strange name for an ending. Can empty scrolls give you friends? Uh, I mean, you can get necromancy, so <laughs> with necromancy you can get a lot of friends, technically. It depends from how you look at it. Blue herb. Why hasn't Trotru bleed out yet? Trotru is just built different. Remember, he was a big uh, knight in the past, featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. <laughs> You know, I played um, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, the one in which there is Dante from Devil May Cry. I also played Devil May Cry, of course. And uh, I gotta say, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne is one of uh, the worst games that I've ever played. 
Let me, let me, let me clarify. Let me clarify. <laughs> let me, let me clarify. I played the whole thing. I played the whole thing at maximum difficulty. And uh, I didn't... Uh, I don't know if it's just uh, my... Like, I, I don't know if it's just uh, me. Because I didn't go too much into the community of uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Like, uh, I got... I didn't get... Uh, the story didn't feel... Uh, Good. Like I didn't feel invested in the story. The story was uh, very small elements put here and there. When I got to fight, uh, I don't want to spoil, but let's say when I got to fight uh, some characters that probably should have made me feel I don't know sad because I was fighting them. I just didn't feel anything. I didn't even care about them. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, but uh, no, maximum difficulty is not a problem. It wasn't so difficult actually. I didn't grind. But it was easy, like my favorite battle is the one against uh, Cloto and the other two sisters, because uh, you actually fight them one by one and then you fight them all together. That seems like uh, the, the way you see their attacks singularly and then they all attack you uh, at once. Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, f um, Shimagami Tensei Nocturne. Oh, thank you so much for the, for the following, Mike Jacob. Thank you so much, my friend. I see, maybe you should play Shin Megami Tensei 4. I do have Shin Megami Tensei 4. I think it's the fourth one at least. I'm uh, very curious to play it because I'm really curious to see... Uh, like, uh, when I played the f uh, Nocturne, someone told me you should play 4th and 5th, if I remember correctly. Uh, wait, wait, maybe it wasn't 5th. Maybe I'm really remembering. But still... Uh, um, he said that Nocturne was nothing special, and so I'm really curious to see uh, how good actually is the other games of uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey is a masterpiece. Interesting. It's a little masterpiece that must be played in my opinion. Okay, okay. I've never played any Persona nor Shin Megami Tensei game. Oh, that's unfortunate. They are very long games though, at least for the Persona games, so... I can, uh, I can understand if you don't want to play them. The Shin Megami Tensei series tends to be more about big sweeping themes than individual characters, but it can leave them feeling very impersonal. Also, you know one thing that I got very angry about uh, Nocturne? It's a small detail, I mean, uh, it's not something you should be uh, judge a game on. It's just my personal, uh, uh, a personal thing, so I'm not judging the game by this. It's just a thing that I would have liked. You know at the start of the game, there is like uh, the, the guy uh, in a room, you enter a room, there is that guy that is like the, the leader of the company that has behind him Baphomet. And so, uh, you see Baphomet, uh, and uh, it's intimidating, and I really love that moment. Uh, you know what I didn't like? You never actually fight Baphomet in a boss battle in the game. That's a thing I didn't like. If there was a battle against Baphomet, I would have been fantastically happy. Like, not having the battle against Baphomet uh, really make, made me pissed, we may say. Uh, Mr. Top Hatman, you didn't miss too much. I just uh, was talking about Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne for a second, <laughs> and I'm farming. Baphomet is just a regular enemy. Yeah, it is a regular enemy. I didn't like too much that. Like, I mean, you are putting an intimidating creature behind the literally leader of the company, the enemy company of the game, and you just never make me fight it as a boss fight. I started playing Library of Ruin. I remember when I played it a few days ago. Uh, yeah, I think I remember. I think. Don't you just love to see that pine cone pink go? <laughs> How much farming remaining? I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, and A. Look uh, for a second uh, at my inventory. That will make you understand how much farming. I've been farming for 30 minutes and I only have uh, explosive bias 5. With 30 minutes of farming. He's just not giving me explosive bias. <laughs> have you played Limbus Company? No, I didn't. What's the drop rate for the explosive vial? It's very low, actually. All the drops are pretty low. I think they are almost all the same. They are around 5% or 10% or 3%, I don't remember. I got Shin Megami Tensei Imagine... Uh, uh, Imagine is a dead MMO. I got the server files from a shady... A shady r Russian site? What? Oh, Shin Megami Tensei Imagine. It's a game? It's a dead MMO? Oh, interesting. So potentially you could revive Shin Megami Tensei Imagine. 
<laughs> I forgot uh, what are we farming even. We are farming explosive vials, uh, throwing uh, knives, uh, that kind of stuff. Enemies, uh, items that deal damage. Seven wooden buckler, yeah. <laughs> I want to finish Library of Ruin. Didn't you buy all those vials? Yeah, I did. So I got... Uh, zero vials from 30 minutes of farming. Zero vials. How do soul stones work? You use that. Uh, you use them uh, at uh, the accent to curse weapons, uh, or uh, to um, you know get new abilities, uh, or you can use them on dead enemies to get their souls. Uh, to um, I need. To, I mean, well, let me repeat that. Once you get a soul stone, you use it on a dead body. You get a lesser soul that can be used at the accent to curse weapons uh, or to get new abilities. But if you use the soul stone on specific enemies, you will get a special soul uh, equipable in the accessories lot that does special things. Explosion vials aka pipe bombs. <laughs> Explosive vial! Perfect! Just look a filthy frank channel for Japanese learning. Who would win, an ancient god or angry boy with some explosive bottles? Torture is tortured, clearly the explosive boy. Of course the explosive boy! Tobacco, interesting. I can't believe we are we are always, on average, one f 100 people watching this. <laughs> I'll give you screenshots later if you want. Uh, yeah, I'm curious about that, actually. Like, uh, a, a dead MMO about Shin Megami Tensei seems interesting. Like, if you want, you can just message me on Discord. I'm in the Discord of Here and Anger. Is there a downside to just cursing all your weapons? Uh, no, there is no downside. Actually, it's a good side because uh, they become able to attack ghosts. So, that's just a good sight. Uh, also, for Apollo, get spontaneous combustion in Fjernanga 2. I don't know what that is, uh, and uh, I don't want to know, <laughs> because it's a spoiler. <laughs> is 99 the max number of each item? That's an interesting question, I think yes. I've never tried it, though. Best God and Why, debate. Best God and Why? Uh, I'm gonna say... I really love uh, the trickster. Which is not mentioned a lot in Fear and Anger 1, actually. There are a, lot, uh, a very small amount of dialogues about it, so I will not say anything more about it. Where's the link to Fear and Anger Discord? It, it should be in the description of this uh, streaming, actually, if I remember correctly. I have, like, uh, the link to the, the, the playlist of my guides, and then there is the Discord of Fear and Anger. I actually played that Shin Megami Tensei MMO. <laughs> I love the aesthetics, but I was a newcomer and I couldn't understand many things. Let fans keep the game alive while pr with private servers. Has a pipe and an explosive vial. Mm. At least he doesn't want to kill me. Sylvian because, come on, of course Sylvian. Uh, you know, I hate Sylvian. But for uh, uh, personal reasons, uh, we may say. Personal reasons. Because when I was attempting uh, Enki as ending for the first time, uh, there were some problems with the uh, marriages, we may say. But I will not say anything more. Also, now, I think we can start to think about uh, attempting to stop farming. It's a very convoluted phrase on purpose. But I think we can start to stop. Frapolo Dan confirmed. <laughs> I am Dan. <laughs> <laughs> like Dan from uh, Fjernanger Termina. I still don't know anything about Dan, I just know that he's a doctor, I think, and that's it. Okay, I have a, a plan. We can do something that is gonna improve us in the long run. We can... Uh, 170 people really just looking forward to going back to Termina, where Syria continues to pronounce... Uh, ra <laughs> Riffle! Okay, I'm gonna say it. Riffle. <laughs> I thought it was the correct pronun pronunciation. I've never had, uh, I've never had uh, someone teaching me the correct pronunciation of words in English, except of course when I went uh, to school. But since now I'm at university, I just don't do uh, English anymore. I also don't need to do the exams in English because uh, I have the IELTS, uh, the IELTS exam uh, uh, certificate that lets me skip the, the exams. And so I just uh, I just said uh, refill. <laughs> 
Did you play Pathologic? I didn't. Someone else suggested it to me. I still didn't play it though because I have very, very, uh, very low amount of time free in the in the day. Like uh, in the morning, I'm usually at university, and uh, in the evening, I'm either uh, recording videos or uh, doing live streams, such as now. Nitroglycerin powder. Okay. Let this curiosity hit him from inside out, like a fly's larva in rodent meat. Okay. It's not a, uh, it's not a rifle. It's rifle. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, wait for Apollo, how old are you? I'm uh, 21 actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, the 94 in my, in my name is not my my date of birth. <laughs> I'm 21. I never played the Shin Megami Tensei, so I don't understand anything. There, there are fairies and monsters and tanks and people with guns. <laughs> and man, oh doctor, man is so confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a very big uh, agglomerate of different designs actually. Uh, I'm 2001, and I'm studying, uh, uh, how is it called, management, uh, management engineering uh, at a university. Maybe you know it, it's uh, Polytechnico, Poly... I don't know if it's called differently in English. Yeah, I'm 94 years old, exactly, D, you're completely understood. Not really a spoiler since it's in the skill tree, but yeah. I didn't read that regardless, Loloso, so no problem, but don't say it again. <laughs> I love how he still licks uh, his knife. Wait, what are we doing? I don't get it. Raspberry, let me explain. This is an item only run. To do it, I need the items. Uh, Torture has a lot of items with the Pinecom Pig. <laughs> so, we're just getting them. Favorite character in Fionnagio 2? For now, my, my favorite character is... Um... Pocket Cat. Fight me. Fight me! My favorite character in Fear and Anger 1 is Pocket Cat. My favorite character in Fear and Anger 2 is Pocket Cat. Always. I don't care. The Italian University Experience <laughs> trademark. What's your favorite way to die in Fear and Hunger? My favorite way is actually falling down. Falling down through pits. Did you know that Pocket Cat is voiced by someone in the day? Uh. Really? I'm curious. I want to know that person. I want him to voice me some lines of uh, <laughs> Pocket Cat. <laughs> so Pocket Cat eats the kids, right? Uh, worse. Imagine uh, even worse. He does something else before doing that. <laughs> um, you may want to put a banner that says farming session to avoid people asking you what are you doing. You know, that may be a good idea actually. Uh, how can I do it? I mean, uh, wait. Uh, I can do it. Uh, give me, give me a second. Uh, okay, so. No, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it uh, uh, for, from the next uh, streaming because otherwise I just need to do a lot of. Uh, I'm not so practical with this kind of, of things, uh, so I, I would need uh, like uh, five minutes. Uh, and I know what you may say. You may say you're gonna farm for uh, one hour. Five minutes are nothing. But still. Let's, we will see. He's farming items to complete the items only run, everyone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What do you mean, Pocket Cat? Uh, he's barely a character. Uh, no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> he's so mysterious in the first game, especially. I don't know a lot of it about the, the second game, but he's so mysterious. Uh, and, uh, like, all the information conveyed about it, uh, it's just hidden, but his personality is able to uh, flow from his uh, little lines. Uh, I love him. I don't know how, how else to say it. Maybe there are some uh, uh, objectively better uh, characters, but in my opinion, I prefer uh, the, uh, the the Pocket Cat. If we have to talk about uh, what is objectively a good character, I would say maybe an objectively good character is Valtail. But uh, that's debatable also. Can't wait for more of your Termina Blind Run. Tomorrow, t Termina Blind Run. Not streaming, because I still need to publish some recordings that I already, that I already have. A a nice rub, exactly. <laughs> Talking about Pocket Cat. Anki too, I would say. Yeah, also Anki. Also, yeah. I never watched nor played Termina. It's a good experience, in my opinion. Termina is a very good experience. It hits you like a truck in the face if you're not prepared. Is it worth saving Buckman? No. If you don't save Buckman... Uh, no, wait, uh, uh, let me explain. Uh, if you don't save Buckman, you get sure access to... Uh, 
the vault key, which gets you access, which gives you access to the penance armor. Also, uh, you can uh, give uh, um, how is it how is it called? Uh, you can kill the gaunt knight to get the gaunt armor, which is one of the best armors in the game. And there is little to no reward for self for saving them. You get 40 silver coins, but you can just get in other ways them. You get uh, a ring of braids that you can get in other ways. So really no reason to 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 save Bachman in my opinion. Other than uh, I don't know responsibility. Oh my God! It's Dark Raccoon in the chat. Oh my gosh! Who is the worst character? The worst character. You mean also enemies? Then uh, I'm gonna say the worst character is... Uh, uh, that's a difficult question. That's a very difficult question. If we are talking about uh, battling the Harvester is in the first place, then I would say... Um, either... Ch uh, mm, a spoiler. Either the, the one of the, the bosses that you fight in Mahabre, the one uh, that you fight in the, in the Tormented Temple, or uh, the, the, the one that you find in the Endless Tower. Hope you destroy this game. Also, chat is looking nice. Thank you so much, Raccoon. Yeah, I wasn't expecting 111 people watching this. <laughs> I was expecting 50 or like, I don't know, 70. But 111. You should have gotten some unique memento from saving them. Even if it isn't useful, it would feel li uh, nice instead of random chest loot. True. Termina is incredible for what it is. Everyone going off and doing their own thing is wild. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree. Hope you have a script running to escape. I don't. I don't. Hartle is like any of the characters in Fear Nangle 1 with a personality, but in Fear Nangle 2, there is multiple reasons to hate some of the characters. Uh, I cannot I cannot say for sure because uh, I still don't know them a lot, but uh, I can imagine that with more characters uh, There surely is gonna be someone uh, that uh, you just don't like Let me drink a little bit <sighs> I wonder if the game's dev will update the first game more now uh, I don't think he ever talked about uh, some new patches or something, but we will see Tips for Elite Guard, I always get really hurt. Please, this one is good. Uh, tips for Elite Guard, uh, we, I may say, destroy the hand with the, the, the sword if you don't have uh, an item that prevents limb losses. If you do have an item that prevents limb losses, destroy the Iron Mace, because uh, bro uh, Broken Bones is not removable except by making a marriage or by using the Moon Lady. Also, on the second turn, and uh, after that, every third turn, remember to guard because there is gonna be the grab attack. The grab attack will not be done if uh, he has zero arms, but he will just do tackle every turn. And uh, as a last as a last suggestion, uh, I don't know, just uh, go for the head after destroying the legs. I wonder what he's gonna do against an elite guard. The guy seems to just be a mini boss to everyone who, who goes against him. It is a mini boss, technically. Broken bones are not that big of a deal. Isn't it just a minus 4 max HP? It's strange. On some characters, it is minus 4. On some, it stays minus 20. I don't know exactly what causes it. I tried to look a little bit in the code, I just cannot figure it out properly. Like, uh, the goal stayed at 80 HP. The girl stayed at 96. It's strange. Let me take a look at how many items do we have. So... We have 21 tinder boxes, 13 ale, 91 silver coins. What is the chance of an explosive buy? <laughs> 0 0.0001. <laughs> when I first started playing Fear and Hunger, I thought it was safe when I cho when I chopped guards' arms and then they tackled me to death. I was pissed as fuck. <laughs> Light up the dungeon. True, I may do it, actually. Also, since I don't... <gasps> Grow Molar! Crew Moller, hello! <laughs> He's just wandering around in that room. <laughs> Bobby is weak from hunger. Wait, where is the... There was a... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's push a little bit further. 
let's use uh, our ales. Tech, tech. Also, let me eat a little bit. I do have a lot of uh, dried mushrooms. Hoarder Simulator. I didn't know Fionanga was a gacha game! <laughs> that made, made, made me genuinely happy. That made my day. A, a gacha game. <laughs> Tomato! Uh, I mean, cabbage works too. Is there a torch here that I don't remember? Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, is this book useful? Oh no, it is... Uh, oh, Captain's Diary and the small key. Okay. Five star explosive vial. Fear and Hunger players, when they lose all of their limbs, it's just like Fear and Hunger. True. Okay, now we're gonna do one thing. I do have one lesser soul, and I found a purifying talisman from my pinecone pig farming. So, we are gonna... Oh, hi, Isaiah. Isaiah's already here. Do I buy the maps? I get the Scroll of, Trans of Transmutation, which is infinite mind and food. And uh, I get access to the to the chest with more silver coins. Uh, yeah, we can definitely take it. I I think I can. I mean, I could just kill it. Oh no, oh, no wait, I cannot kill it anymore. I told to him. Okay, it's a deal. I get the maps. Whatever. Now, let's pray to Olmir. Oh, okay. A terrified presence has entered the room. Let's light up this one also. Is uh, Krumoller here? Yeah, it is here! I don't see anything, I need to use a torch. No! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! No, 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 no. Please. I should have saved. I should have saved. Mm. If I run and I fail, I lose. If I run and I fail, I lose. <laughs> no! No, this cannot happen. I can still guard. I can still... I mean, I, I, I don't care. Uh... I mean, uh, there's a problem. His hand has a lot of health. Even two throwing knives are not enough to kill the, the arm. So he is definitely gonna attack me. Mm. Explosive Vial doesn't kill him. Explosive Vial doesn't destroy the arm. Mm. How do we do this? I'm so tense, guys. I'm so tense. The red vial is not gonna work, it only lowers accuracy on the head. Throw enough can hit on the head more often, right? No, no, that's not true. And also, even if he, if uh, his head is destroyed, he will die at the end of the turn. Let me remove uh, the, the Spamton theme, because this is a very serious moment. Hmm... No. So guys, uh, as I was saying, let's start with my first attempt at uh, items only run. I have a lot of strategies for this, so I will just start. Uh, uh, no, no worries, <laughs> the real loot was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, no, nothing to see here. Uh, the, 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 the run just uh, started. I, 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 um, no, no worries, no, no worries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna farm less in this run. Wait, what is that? He heated gamer moment. What is that? Uh, that currency? 
Wait, uh, stop guys! Don't donate so much, I don't deserve it, I just died! I don't deserve it! Okay, that's a bat. Bat, if I, if I think I understood. Uh, okay. And, uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, Fake or Mercy, for donating 40 baht. Tell me if I pronounced them correctly. Thank you so much for the support, my friend. I really appreciate it, especially considering you're supporting me in the moment I died. And also, thank you so much, D, for the 9,900 IDR. I really appreciate that, man. Oh, there are the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Thank you so much, guys, for this. I really appreciate that. Both of you, you're fantastic people. But still... <laughs> Why did I throw away... Like, uh, the, I, I got the pinecone pig on my first bookshelf. Literally, there was someone that was handing me the silver plate. This is the win. Take the win. I looked at it. And they just went, like, I don't know... I like... I like throwing knives. I like throwing knives. I like them. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, stream just started and I have already 109 viewers. That's crazy. And, uh, oh, thank you so much, uh, Zeonis. <laughs> thank you so much for the $5 donation. <laughs> nice, I just made it right on time for you to start the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your support, my friend. I really appreciate it. Also, considering I still didn't do anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for the $5, my friend. I really appreciate it, really. It means a lot to me. And the ads isn't working. Why isn't it working? Ah. <laughs> no, Jacko. You are not late to the stream. I just started. <laughs> there is the ad, finally. There is a lot of delay. I did set the delay of the ad to be the minimum, and still it's the it's very low, it's very slow. Are you able to save Frapolo? Yeah, I am, because I am on Terror and Starvation. So many donations at the beginning, <laughs> off to a great start. <laughs> you know, when I played the Anki's ending for the first time, I was in a Discord call with some of my, of my friends, and uh, I just repeated, uh, repeatedly died at the start of the run, and every time I died I just went, uh, Ah, yes, so let's start our first run in Anki's ending. <laughs> I just had a little bit of deja vu. Notification is a jump scare. <laughs> yeah, it's a jump scare notification. Because uh, I need to, I, in case I don't see it uh, in the chat, the donation or whatever, I need to be sure I remember to thank the guy, the, the people that donate to me because, uh, you know, it would be very rude, to, like, someone donates you $10 when you, I don't know, you just died in a run in which you were farming for like 40 minutes, uh, and if you don't even thank them for donating, then I mean, you're just uh, stupid. So, let's go back on track. Um, we need... Uh, to get the pine Pig instructions. Which of the S endings do you like the best? I gotta say, I'm uh, uh, both. I, I like both uh, the Kahara S ending and the God of Ultraviolence uh, Ragnar S ending. My my favorite, maybe just because I'm a Kahara in, in the the average Kahara enjoyer, is a uh, Kahara one. For all thinking, we are here for pig skills. <laughs> the copium. <laughs> For pick skills, in an item roll only run, the skill is very low, yeah. Absolutely, I agree. Say it as fast as you can. A pelle figlio di Apollo fece una palla di pelle di pollo. Are you happy now? A pelle figlio di Apollo fece una palla di pelle di pollo. Okay, so, let's go back to business. Uh, how do you rate Moonless? Uh, 8 out of 10, I would say. It's a very good party member. It's a very good party member, in my opinion. Let's go! <laughs> Did you really like it that much? Like, just me saying, Capelle figlio di Apollo fece una palla di pelle di pollo. <laughs> my man just spoke in Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Time to save Legard again. Oh! Ah, you just reminded me I have to do that once again. Uh, please. Please, guard, don't look at me. I'm a student of Italian. I love it. Oh, nice. Wait, how close does he get to me? He's not supposed to go that far. 
crying. Random Italian is always funny. <laughs> I was looking the chat. I was looking the chat. No, 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 no. I was looking the chat. I was looking at the chat. Leave me alone. <laughs> ah. What ending are we going for today? Today I think ending E, but I'm gonna keep the save file. I mean, ending E can be achieved even before. I'm gonna keep the save file, so next time so we're gonna be able to perform even the other endings uh, without problems. Why that guard is so angry? Because um, he, he, he wanted me to win in the previous run, so he's just gonna kill me now. Don't they know? Propolo and chat are an item. <laughs> How is going the run? The run is going pretty good, it's just started, but uh, it's going pretty well, I gotta say. In my opinion. Like, uh, for, a for a start, this is a good start. Yeah, Martha, if you, if you weren't around when it happened, uh, I may have died and lost all the progresses. Maybe. Just maybe. Just uh, maybe. So. Now, uh, when uh, when I when I decided it was a good idea to go and take Blood Portal, I died because I tried to get Blood Portal. Oh wait! Uh, thank you so much, Mina, for the five dollars donation. I'm so excited to be here for your first run. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. There it is. The ad is finally working at a good um, at a good timing. Thank you so much once again, Mina. I really appreciate that. I'm, I hope you will enjoy my first run in items only run. <laughs> oh, Alexander, what happened to Most Eagle Quest Paradox? Uh, I got problems uh, from that. Uh, like uh, YouTube was constantly putting uh, the videos on uh, uh, restriction to minors. Uh, and then when I finally was able to uh, reach 1000 subs, since you know the channel gets a revision or something, then I just thought it was better to just uh, uh, put them all to 18 plus and just stop the series because YouTube was being very annoying and I don't want to lose the channel. So I, I do have like 10 Monster Girl Quest Paradox videos on my PC, but probably they will never see the light of day. I'm sorry. Is the penance armor worth it? The defense stat seems low. It is very worth it. Don't care about the defense stat. Also, I think it uh, increases your defense if it, even if it doesn't say so. It's strange, it's strange, but it's how that works. If I remember correctly, at least. Book of Fears, Fellowship. <laughs> I'm not gonna get the pa <gasps> PICON! 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 Okay. Give me a PINECON pinion and I rule the world. Now I just need a PINECON. Now, no, rat, please, please, okay. Scroll of marksmanship and marksmanship. Now we can learn marksmanship, but we can also learn marksmanship. That's very good. And then we can learn marksmanship if we want. Now, let's go down here for a second. No, let's not go down there, <laughs> in that case. Okay. Your luck is insane. Yeah, my luck is insane until I ruin everything by going against a guard. Now I'm gonna pray into that circle before uh, leaving the zone. Let's open the, this one for later in case I need it. How did you die? I went into a fight against a guard. I had 25 HP. I wasn't able to kill it. Uh, I died. That's it. Blue vial. Wait, uh, is this a bug? The door is supposed to be open, but if you come from the other side, the door stays closed until you interact with it. Interesting. I didn't know it worked like that. Pinecon! 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 Okay. Uh, Pinecon pig! What do you mean die? This is his first run. Yeah, I think he's talking about a previous uh, streaming. I don't think he's talking about this one, by the way. Yeah. 20 Pinecon pig, books uh, zero empty scroll. <laughs> That's true. I'm being lucky in a strange way, we may say. Uh, there is the girl, and nothing. Wheat flower. Now, I need a way to deal damage to torture, so I'm gonna fight against uh, the butterfly man. I don't have an explosive vial, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't. Let's take the mocha book. Uh, Propolo reacting to pinecone pig like I do at Animal C on the street. 
Yeah, it's like, uh, you know that video, man, look at this monkey. Ooga booga booga booga. Ooga booga 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 booga. Yeah, something similar. Alchemilla! Alchemilla! Interesting. Uh, now we have light blue vial unlocked. This is uh, uh, explosive vial. And uh, this uh, is, uh, I don't remember, I think it's red vial. Do you happen to be a ghost hunter? Your profile picture give me go uh, those vibes. <laughs> yeah, I think I know why you're saying that. The, the, for those that don't know, the, my profile picture is the sprite of a character of uh, Black Souls 2 that is called Ghost Finder Karnaki, which is, uh, as the name suggests, a ghost hunter. So, a pinecone pink plushie. That could be a good idea. So, Bobby is starting to feel... Oh, wait, I had to make a new character to, to get a new name. Uh, whatever. It's good like this, I guess, at this moment. Uh, uh, please, uh, let's take all the items quickly. I don't want to get stuck because, you know, the guard is gonna come near me. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm never gonna go back there. Never. Never. Does anyone have a problem where YouTube videos don't play correctly on certain quality settings? Uh, no, I don't know about that, actually. I am so into Fiernagar, I want to get a tattoo of the doll, uh, for real. Of the doll? Oh, okay, yeah. That seems a good, a good tattoo. Is he a ghost who is hunter, or a hunter who is hunting ghosts? <laughs> Pinecone Pig, the oldest of the gods. He is literally more powerful than Grogorov. Also, I like how this place has infinite arrows, but you cannot collect them in any ways. For Apollo be tattooing Pinko Pig, <laughs> maybe in the future on uh, a, a, like a removable tattoo, not an irremovable one, because otherwise, you know, eh. Oven should grant us Pinko Pig plushie. You know, merchandise of Fear and Hunger could be a good idea, especially if it's done in the correct way. I mean, everything of mer merchandise could be a good idea if it's done in the correct way, but you understand what I mean. Maybe the Fear and Hunger were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I got my Ragnavaldor's ending yesterday. Oh, good job, my friend. That's a very difficult ending. In my opinion, it's not as difficult as uh, Anki's ending, but still, it's a very difficult one, especially if you don't get the good RNG. So, uh, do I have the Pinecone Pig? Yeah, I do. The Fetus Freak I, I saw you use was Clutch. Yeah, it was definitely a Clutch event for me. It was fantastic. Give me a plush card. <laughs> oh, oil. Here, take my Harvestman plus. Ah! You're a bad guy. Bariot, I want you to know you are a bad guy. Just bad. No, 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 I'm joking. I love you. I don't want to be. I don't want my words to be taken literally. Hope for Apollo teach item only strats. <laughs> there is no strat. It's just uh, entering and exiting the fight for 20 minutes. <laughs> there is literally no strat. No, no poor butterfly. After all, we are not damaging it. We're just talking. Let me... Wait, let me... Put the music. Okay. Also, I may change the music, actually. This one is pretty repetitive after some point, maybe. I have some other uh, Deltarune music on my, on my PC. I may put them instead. Here comes the jam. Ragnavaldor needs you to kill every hostile creature. No! He just needs you to kill... Uh, 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 he just needs you to get the souls of certain uh, creatures, which are the bosses, basically. Then Butterfly, and then someone else that I may, re I may forget. I may do a video about uh, how to get Ragnavaldor's ending, because sometimes I hear people saying uh, you need to kill all the creatures in the game. No, that's not true, you just need to get the souls of like uh, 10 creatures. Even the Cockroach Pink uh, uh, King thinks uh, this is cruel. <laughs> Throwing knife, okay. What happened to Legard? Um, I, I don't know what are you talking about. This is my first run. Uh, I, I've never gotten to Legard. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I died. I died. And so I had to restart. <laughs> Legard the reminder. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 once I get one explosive vial, I'm gonna rush. Iron Shakespeare. Yeah, Iron Shakespeare too. Tio, Tio, Cagatio, Cagaturo, Dake, Tabon... I don't know what that means, honestly. 
What does that mean, my friend? She no longer every item except, except explosive vials. Yeah, I'm having a, I'm having an insane drop rate of explosive vials. This is, uh, you know, the speedrunner dream. This is like dream kind of luck, but negatively. My gosh. Please, give me an explosive vial bottle of whiskey. <laughs> It's Kahara only restricted or does all party members have to use item only? Uh, all party members, all, all. Otherwise the challenge wouldn't be present. Technically, if you do kill everybody in the game, you still qualify for this ascending. It's just extra steps. No, that's not true, Raldinho. If you kill this exact guy that I'm fighting now and use the soul stone on him, you get a lesser soul. You have to not kill it. And then, later, once you destroy all the three organs uh, that are in the, in the dungeon, he is gonna drop the uh, butterfly soul. That's uh, the, the, the important part. And there are other things like this one, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's at attack once again, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For a second I got stunned, I don't remember what I wanted, I didn't remember what I wanted to do. Okay, so, if anyone was 1 hour and 10 minutes late like me, then you basically have uh, the opportunity to be the 100 viewers that were <laughs> there at the beginning. <laughs> Why not just uh, push the crow molar into the toilet? I don't think he can fly. Imagine if that was possible, just uh, fighting the crow molar inside the toilet. Uh, a toilet paddle. Okay, nothing. Uh. Please, give me something to deal with the yellow mage, then I'm gonna go down, I, sh I swear. I swear. Uh, this is not a sensor mode, this is just me messing up with the game files. I literally went and edited all the images that show uh, sus stuff to be sure YouTube doesn't destroy me. But instead I edited myself in the toilet out of curiosity. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go now. Uh, goodbye, Pumpkin Pites. Thank you so much for coming, my friend. Toilet battle, the winner gets to die slower and more painfully. Also, I gotta say, uh, like, uh, I like the concept of the toilet. Also, because there is a secret thing about the toilet I'm gonna tell you in the future. But uh, in the future, I, this is just a little teaser for those. Uh, when, I, when I will talk about the secret of the toilet, you will say, I was there. But we will see. So. Today, I want to at least be able to defeat a boss. I don't care which boss, just one boss. There is no rules, uh, WL, no worries. Have you ever jumped into the toilet with party members and told with them? They say some funny stuff. Ooh, I've never done that, uh, actually. That seems interesting. Uh, and all this time I thought the game had a censored mode. <laughs> no, no, it's just me. I just uh, I edited the game fast because I, you know, I can't show that kind of stuff on YouTube. Blue ball by Frap. Also, I think uh, Orange could actually make this as a viable way to play the game. It isn't that much work, uh, in my opinion. Uh, like uh, adding a sensor mode that just replaces uh, certain sprites with other sensor sprites doesn't seem too difficult. Uh, I don't know if it just doesn't because uh, it ruins the concept uh, of the game or something. Or, or something, sorry. But maybe. Yeah, Orange uh, should add one in, in my opinion. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Tur Turgut Axoi. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate that. I think having a crow head and a weapon as an arm adds to the badassery. Uh, yeah. That seems, uh, I mean, you, uh, you want to cosplay as the crow molar, literally, in the dungeon. So, in, in, in the meantime, let me explain one thing that I'm concerned about. You know, um, the final boss, I'm not gonna say the name because I don't want to spoil people that didn't play that part. You know the final boss of ending B? Good night, Zilverina. You know the final boss of uh, ending B? Uh, that boss, uh, I mean, I can just put poison and burn, etc. But uh, after that, what do I do? Do I just uh, survive until I win? It seems uh, difficult. I, I, I still have no idea about what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, learn the strategies to do this uh, as I proceed during the run. Because I, at the current moment I still don't have a plan to defeat the bosses. I'm just gonna figure out stuff while I go. <laughs> I don't know. 
We will see. Also, if uh, this guy doesn't give me an explosive vial, the guard is gonna die. Do you contribute to the Fjernanger wiki? I heard that it's very lackluster and needs a lot of added info. I'm not part of the Fjernanger wiki, actually. And uh, I know some people that are and are actual, uh, actually modifying it uh, in the moment. Uh, because, you know, there is a new wiki now. And... Um, in the new wiki, they're trying to point out more stuff, but no, I'm not a part of uh, the, 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 the stuff of the wiki, we may say. The wiki got moved recently, yeah, exactly, that one. I did not know that Light Knight Lurches uh, could do that. Uh, what? Uh, you mean, uh, what are you talking about, uh, Johanna? I finally know what heroin does. I mean, yeah, yeah, heroin uh, isn't completely clear at the start. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to do something. Since I have the throwing knife, uh, we're gonna move our uh, farming method to uh, torture. Good night and good luck for the first run of the stream. <laughs> Thank you so much, Malkyor1000. Thank you so much, my friend. On the game. I think I'm gonna go to torture right now. No! <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm lucky here I don't take any damage. I mean, any body damage. Now the new wiki is not part of the fandom from what I think I understood, so I think you can be happy with that. Soul Devour Necklace, that may be useful against the Yellow Mage. I mean, I'm not gonna use the Pinko Pig against the Yellow Mage, so that seems a thing I can use. Also, I think I need to pass uh, through the, the guard once again if I want to, to reach... Uh... Oh no! Okay, for those that don't know, if you stand still, they don't attack you. Uh, 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 <laughs> How did you see me? How did you see me? <laughs> this game is cursed. This game is so cursed. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Uh, I'm procrastinating on my uni work. Finding out many first runs you'll do today is more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, D. I hope this will be my only run, actually. Because I don't want you guys to sit through me farming for another 80 hours. So. Throwing knife. Let's go! Okay. And now we can just run. Uh, guys, can I ask you something for the sake of time? Can I use the run skill to run from the fight? I'm not gonna use it anywhere else. I'm just gonna use it for farming, just for the sake of time. There is no way I can die in this exact moment. Are you okay with that? It's faster if I do it that way. Okay. No skills, items only. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna... <laughs> A lot of you are saying sure. Then uh, let's do it, <laughs> just for this. Yeah, run granted just for this one. I'm not gonna use it in other battles, just in this one. Just in this one. I'm gonna not use it ever again, I promise. This is a promise. What is the best item for damage? Uh, th uh, I mean, uh, if you want uh, uh, raw damage, uh, like raw numbers, uh, it's throwing knife, uh, it's around 100. If you want, uh, um, like, uh, damage over time, then you have uh, the, the purple vial that puts poison, uh, that gives, like, 10% uh, negative HP regen on the enemy. Then, uh, uh, marky vial puts uh, burning, if I remember correctly, which is also 10% negative regen. And uh, there is also the lantern from the... Dark Priests, that does a little bit of damage and also uh, burns the enemy. Is there a difference? Like, if you pick up run from the menu... Uh, no, the difference is not in the... Uh, yeah, it's in the escape chance, uh, not so much, but uh, the real difference is, as you can see, I can just uh, keep one uh, one little, uh, one little um, keyboard command on, held, and I just uh, am able to escape after entering the battle. Otherwise, I just have to go to click the back option. Go uh, down with one uh, with uh, the, the keyboard and click run. That's the real difference. It's just more tedious, but it's the same thing. 
A real big shot. What happened to Lagarde? Uh, I don't know what are you talking about. Lagarde was never here. This is my first run. I didn't die by accident and lost all the progresses. No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. Six silver coins. I'm gonna kill Isaiah immediately once I get him. I don't care. I'm gonna kill it immediately. Once I have enough uh, explosive vials, of course. Also, if I get uh, Nitroglycerin Powder from uh, the Pinecone Pig, that also unlocks new Explosive Vials since I unlocked the Alchemilla Volume 3. That's very interesting because Black Vials can be obtained in the first room of the dungeon, so you can just combine them. Now, please uh, give me Explosive Vial. <laughs> it's having like the worst drop rate of my life. I don't know nothing about Legard, all I can see is that Bouncing Pinecone Pig. <laughs> Assuming Iron Arrows are out, yeah they are, we banned them, we have banned them. The, st the stream sounds like an emergency siren with all those horns. <laughs> are you allowed to save in this challenge? Yes. This, the challenge is on, star on terror and starvation, so I'm allowed to save. Also because I'm not gonna complete it in one day. Oh! Thank you so much for becoming a member! Nobody! Thank you so much, I hoped I pronounced that correctly. Thank you so much. Now you can use the emojis and you have access to the little badge of the chromoler near your name. Hope you like this. Uh, thank you so much for the support, my friend. I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, guys. You're fantastic. You're really becoming members in a stream, which is 90% me of just farming. Of just uh, entering the battle. Uh, I, uh, if I could bring... There it is! There it is, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much once again, nobody. I really appreciate that. Please uh, stick. Buona notte, capo e buona fortuna. Oh, good night, Ganzo. Thank you for coming. There's something for Pinecone Pig. Imagine the Pinecone Pig brings uh, members. Imagine. I just need one explosive pile, come on. 12 silver coins. <laughs> I swear, someone just entered in my game and uh, and edited the chances to give like 0.1% for explosive vial. Is it night for you for Apollo? It is uh, 10... Uh, wait, uh, it's half, uh, half... I don't know how to say the, the, the hour in English. Wait, uh, it's uh, half past uh, 10 p.m. I hope I, pronounced, I said it correctly. Honestly, farming sometimes is a part of game challenges and that's okay. Also, you end up teaching us a lot about it along the way. True, true, that's true. Partially true. I, I, can, uh, I can understand that part. Half past ten. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 22, 10.30. <laughs> 10.30. <laughs> if you could become any character from Fear and Anger, what would it be? Uh, pocket Cat. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I, if I could become any character, I think I would become uh, someone that doesn't... Uh, you know what? The vendor at the entrance of the dungeon, the one that sells you those fake potions. He just cannot be killed, he gets money, he leaves, uh, profit. There is no... there is literally no downside. <laughs> there is no downside to it. Yeah, maybe I said Pocket Cat, but no one has uh, the, the proofs, and this uh, stream is gonna disappear. This stream is gonna disappear! <laughs> Red uh, Vial, a good damage dealer. The Red Vial doesn't deal damage. Red Vial just um, puts bl blinding on the enemy. And only works uh, on the faces, uh, doesn't work on uh, limbs. He has an inverted arm that's killing him. <laughs> Pocket Cat party member mode when? Technically it's not that difficult, I mean, uh, just uh, uh, using the skin is something that even I can do. But uh, as to interactions with the party, that's something uh, a, a real modder should do. I bet those hounds at the beginning of the game belong to that merchant. <laughs> yeah, he wants you to, to take damage, so you need to heal. So you use the potion you bought, and you die. And he, take more lo he takes more loot. Guys, are you noticing that I'm not, I'm not getting explosive vials? There is something wrong about this. There is something really wrong. <laughs> I can feel it. Uh, let's talk about something else in the meantime. I wanted to talk about something else to, uh, with you. I just don't remember in the current moment. Uh, 
uh, it was about... Uh, uh, I talked about the, the tier list on streams. The, the real question is, uh, when I'm gonna play Fear and Hunger Termina on stream, do you want me to play as a character I still didn't play, or and uh, like uh, look information on uh, wikis to do all the endings, or I just get a vague idea about what to do from uh, someone and just go around uh, still uh, blind uh, without knowing what to do? What do you think about it? Do you want me to like uh, after I finish the bl my first bl uh, after I finish the publishing the the videos? Wait, what spoiler? Torture has a question why he is repeatedly initiating combat while missing an arm. <laughs> Imagine Torture just entering the battle and saying, Hey, who are you? Wait, wait, why do, wait, wait, why do I have an arm? <laughs> blind big yes. Okay, okay, okay. Then I, I'm gonna continue blind. Like, I find it so funny. Like, on my channel, I have, um, I don't know, uh, the four videos of my blind one of Pierre Danger 1. And it just didn't go, like, it went very well for uh, how my videos went back there. But still, it required me a lot, and I mean a lot of work. Like, if I tried to do something like that for Fjernanger Termina, I would have required the days. Uh, and with the university, I would probably not be able, not be able to, to resist. The, these games are probably best enjoyed blind. Okay, okay. I understand. Absolutely did not do that. <laughs> I mean, everyone... Uh, yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, do you guys think uh, playing a game blind, uh, playing a game not blind, uh, is something to condemn? Like, uh, people that do that are just uh, stupid? Or do you guys have a more uh, uh, okay approach? Like, uh, I mean, if you want to do, it's your fault. Blind run and you have to change character every time you die. <laughs> Do you guys think? Uh, no, head empty. Yeah, think is a skill. You cannot use skill in the item only run. 11 oil. Yeah, we are not getting uh, explosive vials, we are just getting uh, oil. Because, like, in my opinion, uh, uh, while I'm okay with people spoiling themselves, uh, I still think. Uh, like, uh, let me explain this. Uh, not maybe in uh, games that don't have a lot of uh, main story, but have a lot of lore. But in games that have a lot of story, if someone, uh, like, uh, spoils himself uh, uh, voluntarily the story or the battles, uh, and then says something about the game, I don't know why, but I, unconsciously, immediately think his opinion is invalid. I, like, it's not something that I do on purpose because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a bad person or something, but generally, when this happens, my, my brain just tells me, yeah, he spoiled himself the game, so he's, he doesn't have the same investment I do have in the scenes, so his opinion is invalid. Uh, and uh, you understand what I mean, guys? Uh, I think it's a blind, I did Termina mostly blind, but I asked online when I got stuck. The game demolished me initially and I just wasn't having fun. Not to condemn, but I definitely would enjoy the Fear Nugger more if I hadn't gone completely blind. Depends on the game, really. I looked at the wiki sometimes for Termina just because it's easy to end up in a bad, bad situation. True. I like the good balance of going blind and occasionally checking for some things to fill the gaps so you just can't feel. Like an old graphic adventure where you check the world through only when stuck. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I think I understand what you mean. I think I understand what you mean. I literally watch and play stuff after I get spoiled on them because I become interested. I don't mind not going blind. Oh, okay, okay. Understandable. Termina is good to play story blind, but maybe gameplay hints are okay. Okay, I think I can understand what you mean. Like, there are some uh, zones or uh, places in which you have to travel through, and maybe if you don't know them, it's uh, more tedious, uh, something like that. My YouTube recommendation got full of Fiona before I finally bought the game. Because, uh, like, for example, I got a, uh, a YouTube uh, thumbnail spoiled me a boss fight. Uh, I think a very important boss fight in Termina. A boss fight that I wasn't expecting. That, uh, that I was expecting, sorry. That I was expecting. But I just. Uh, just seeing it uh, makes me go, oh no, I already know about it. Does this game have an overhaul mode to inform the player more? No, it doesn't. Actually, no. It could be a good idea, honestly, if someone wants to do it. I like playing games, that's pretty much it. Okay, understandable. 
I'm surprised you haven't given it a crack yet. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be very soon, it's gonna be very soon. Especially the mental gymnastic required for recruiting characters in Termina. Yeah, I gotta say... Uh, oh wait, uh, you still don't know. I have recruited someone in Termina, but the videos on the channel still didn't arrive to that part, so I'm not gonna say who. Who, how can Chorchu lick his knife without his knife hand? <laughs> yeah, that's the question we are all questioning in our heads. I think looking up guides some things, your, st uh, your stuck is fine. Story spoilers can be rough. Yeah, the point is though, if you just try to look uh, at, uh, I don't know, I'm stuck in this place, and while you look at it, uh, right under it there is uh, final boss of the game, and it tells you who the final boss is, or maybe some crucial uh, plot twist, like, I don't know, this character dies, like, you know, I, I would feel very bad. What do you think about it? How many bombs you've got? Zero. Zero. Zero bombs. 30 minutes. Zero bombs. Zero. I hope I express myself perfectly. This is why you need a bookmark for Apollo Channel. A bookmark for a bookmark for Apollo Channel. Yeah, that could be interesting. <laughs> Six silver coins. Oh, now we are gonna see if uh, co uh, silver coins stop at 99. They stop at 99. Please give me an explosive pile. <laughs> Please. I usually didn't have time to play all I want. I'm searching to for not have to replay. Uh, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, to replay games, we didn't stop for games I will not play but like the story. But I understand your opinion. Yeah, okay, I understand your opinion too. It's perfectly understandable. Item only run seems not meant to be today. <laughs> Legal this bye bye. No, we died. <laughs> we died, and I'm not able to go back because I'm not getting an explosive vial. Share and anger items only. No explosive vial run. Please. Okay. Six silver coins! You know what? Screw this! Screw this! I don't care! <laughs> I don't care! I have two throwing knives! I'm gonna... Uh, wait! Question! Question! If I enter the battle with a yellow mage, I destroy his leg, and then I escape, is he able to cast hurting? Outside of battle, I mean. Is he able to cast Hurting while outside of battle? In this run, how much time has passed? Uh, not a lot, not a lot. I get sniped by running away a lot. Yeah, but I mean, you get sniped if he still has legs, but you get sniped even if he doesn't have legs anymore. Because uh, if that's the case, then I'm just gonna go there. Save the guard with two throwing darts, what a chad! <laughs> What's the point if you know all the gimmicks? In fact, I think the cast picks up where it left off. Well, I'll give bombs. If I had a, an empty scroll, I would literally ask for an empty, for a bomb. An explosive vial. Jesus. Let me... I'm double checking in the files if uh, he's gonna do that. Uh, so... You can reset the animation by battling him. No! No, that's not true! The animation doesn't get reset by battling him. I'm 100% sure about that. So, uh, if Yellow Mage Dance is on... Yellow Mage Dance. What is Yellow Mage Dance? Interruptor 0343. Uh, that's complicated. Propolo gets no more bombs this stream. <laughs> Uh, you know what? We are gonna discover this. I don't want to look too much into it because it's a little bit cheating. We are gonna discover it uh, while we go. I have two throwing knives. Two. We are gonna go there. And we are gonna... Let me turn off the music. Now gameplay. Finally, after all this time. Gameplay. Let's go. New first run coming soon. <laughs> Come on, give me, give me, give me hope. Give me, give me support. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to win. Let me, let me do, let me do this. Okay, death imminent. No, death is not imminent. I'm just gonna be able to do this very easily. Everyone will be happy about it, and I will be the hero that completes the item only run. 
Why your game is so dark? It is dark because this is terror and starvation mode. The, you don't emit light. That's uh, the gist of it. If you ever feel like doing a more relaxed stream for fear and anger, just become as strong as possible and beat every possible enemy. Uh, yeah, that's something I could do. I thought about something similar, but that's a little bit of a spoiler that I... But I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I thought about something similar. Let's just say it like that. So. Now. Let's go. Here we are. It's time to discover if we are able to stop the animation by destroying his left leg. Hello, yellow mage. Now, throw a knife to destroy the leg. Please. Okay. Okay. Now. Please. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> <sighs> okay, no problem. I'm gonna become a marriage. I'm gonna become a marriage. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna become a marriage. That's it. Now that we are here, we can get the explosive vials and I can also get Lagard. We are gonna be a little bit slower. Only bleed is pretty good for the, the spell. Tiranaga is a learning experience. We will learn from each other's mistakes and pain. Yeah, now you know it. You, if you, if you cut off his leg and then exit the battle, he will still be able to screw you. So, and the crow mole. <laughs> it wasn't enough getting hurting. No, it wasn't enough. Let me get all these juicy explosive vials. Marry Najra. Actually, we are not gonna take Najra in this gameplay because we want to do ending B. And let's say Najra make, does some problems with that. Uh, don't look... Uh, where there is, uh, explosive vial! Now you are giving me an explosive vial! Uh, whatever. Thanks to you, we have learned something that not a lot of people know. <laughs> yeah, technically. Meh. Has my memory failed? They put my fear and anger mode. You aren't allowed companions. Uh... uh no, that's not true. In Fear and Anger mode and in uh, Terran Starvation mode, uh, you are allowed companions. I didn't know you were aiming for a specific ending. I'm not aiming for a specific ending, I'm aiming for all of them. All. Literally. Together with another Pycon, or oh, the irony. <laughs> Imagine. Use the rope. Now, climb down. We are here once again. Whoa! So, um, yes, uh, you didn't see anything. Now that was an oopsie doopsie. My 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 brother was using uh, um, uh, FBI uh, Wi-Fi or something. Okay. Yeah, the sensor screen got updated. Uh, my my friend that is responsible of uh, the graphics updated it. I really ha I really love him because uh, I don't pay him, <laughs> and he still gives me these uh, little gifts for my channel. I really love him. He's a uh, Doctor Zeusone. By the way, now that we are here, there is a big problem. We are not gonna be able to traverse uh, the ghost. Oh, we are. We are. Okay. Okay. Hello, you have delved too deep. The sensory reflexes training is on today. <laughs> please, can I please do this? Let's take the Book of Enlightenment. After I make the marriage, and so after I get a safe place, we may say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually save. <laughs> Now we have affinity with Olmir. Where is that guy? There it is. Affinity with Olmir means uh, we have blood portal now. Bobby is angry. <laughs> Bobby. The sensory reflexes training is on today. <laughs> this challenge is everything that is wrong with the reality itself. Uh, can you please uh, turn around? Please. Okay. 
please. Okay. No! <laughs> okay, perfect. Ah, <sighs> detention. Does mind loss increase as you delve deeper? Uh, no, it doesn't, but uh, if the light uh, is uh, lower, then it's gonna go down faster. <gasps> Why do I always forget about that? So, as I was saying, I cannot make a marriage with Lagarde, even if I wanted to. You lo you got lucky. I didn't get lucky. <laughs> I I just heard the the, the chrome molder. It's not lucky. <laughs> What happens if you save uh, Leg Griffin being a marriage? Uh, nothing, he just thanks you. Okay, okay. Perfect, now we're just gonna... Uh, I don't have necromancy, I do need necromancy if I want to make a marriage, but I think now I'm gonna do something. You know what's a good thing I can do? If I am able to get another party member, I can defeat the knight, the specter knight. Even Termina is more forgiving with restoring lost limbs. <laughs> I wonder why Dasse is willing to do it, but she loves Lagarde. Um, I don't know. Is any ending other than S unavailable if you become a marriage? No, they are all available. The only one that is not available is ending C, is uh, if uh, Lagarde dies, or ending A if uh, the girl dies. And what to... Uh, we'll do floor worms. Uh, uh, oh, the, the torch! Okay. Uh, uh, what do... What do floor worms? Uh, in my playthrough they never give a bad status. Oh, they just uh, deal damage. They just deal a little bit of damage. That's it. That's it. So, it's time to get blood portal. With blood portal we're gonna do something very interesting. <sighs> no! Oh, I cannot talk, so I can just run. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh. uh. Okay. Okay. Are you able to beat the game completely alone? Yeah, it depends from the ending. I saw. I think I saw someone doing uh, even hard endings uh, by themselves, like even without skeletons or goals. But it's very tedious and requires a lot of good RNG. Nobody here confirmed if Kahara sending is canon or not. I think it isn't, but I want it to be. I mean, if you want it to be, then it is. <laughs> like, if you just want it to be, it is. So, we're gonna do one thing now. I'm gonna... Uh, I do have uh, seven explosive vials, uh, and I have one soul stone. Is there an enemy that I can kill easily? An enemy that I can kill easily. I actually suggest using run as a skill instead of directly, because you can attack. Yeah, if the the the, the problem is, uh, it's in my in my rules that I give it, that I've given to myself. I cannot use run. I literally cannot. Wait, let me let me show once again the rules because I, the because I think all the people that are here are not uh, here from the start. <coughs> These are the rules. So. I cannot attack, I cannot use skills in battle, I mean, run, I can only use it while farming because I cannot die there. Guard uh, is allowed, no auto-battle characters, so no moonless, no, uh, uh, how are they called, ghosts, skeletons, except for sacrifices or marriages, no debug spots, and I play in terror and starvation difficulty. I'm still here from the start. <laughs> Good job for the dedication, king. <laughs> Imagine, I'm too here from the start. <laughs> I mean, this is the first run, so whatever, but but still. Which one, uh, what? The viewers dropped to 99 at some point, or so like 8 people left, and these 16 more people are mostly likely new, yeah. I think I started recently, no? Yeah, it started recently, absolutely. Now, is there a, a, a pair, someone that I can kill very easily? To get a lesser soul from my soul stone. Uh, I guess I could just attack these dark priests and use the explosive vials. And a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> okay, so explosive vial, explosive vial. 
Not is me, senpai. Oh, ciao, ciao, Giordana. Uh, Giordana is one of my of my friends from uh, IRL. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, now they cannot do anything. We can just kill them very slowly. I'm gonna use a throwing knife because I don't want to use the um, the explosive vials for them. Boom, and boom. Perfect. Now we have access to. Let's see. A lesser soul, another soul stone. Oh wait, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Okay. And also, we get our purifying talisman. Maybe a Maneba would have been better. A Maneba has like 300 HP on the head, and I'm not able to, to do enough damage to it, probably. Now, I'm gonna do something. How is the run do going? I'm gonna- I have a plan for what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna defeat one boss. I'm not gonna- you- I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make you go to bed without me defeating at least one of the bosses of the game. We are gonna defeat the Spectre Knight. And you will see how. So let's get Blood Portal. Now we have unlocked the fast travel. We, do, we may unlock and guard. Hi Ghost. We may unlock uh, and guard because uh, I will allow it. But I think I need to make a marriage. <gasps> I don't have a way- Oh, I can just uh, censor the marriage with the sus thing. Base pinecone bringing some liquor. <laughs> so, now that I have this, uh, I do have... Uh, how many explosive vials? Five. If I enter the battle against uh, the Spectre Knight with three party members, I think I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna take the girl. It's time to take the girl. Did you get any empty scrolls? No, I didn't. It's it's ridiculous. I didn't get empty scrolls yesterday. I didn't get empty scrolls today. It's just ridiculous. Maybe you can't use Engard though. They can use Engard. You just need to use a cursed short bow. Yeah, you heard me right. The only way to use Engard with a, a marriage, you need to equip a cursed short bow. Because uh, in the event of the Engard on the marriage, there is a problem. While all the carters say, if you don't have a short bow, then you can use Engard, the marriage says, uh, if you have a short bow, then you can use Engard. It's pretty strange, I know. I, I, I like, uh, I, I hit my face in the wall multiple times when I discovered it. It's a bug. Probably it's not an intended feature. I don't know if I can call it a bug, but uh, yeah, it's that kind of stuff. Also, let me put some equipment, I mean, why not? Now, uh, if I fi if I remember correctly, and that won't use arrows, no, it doesn't. It, it uses uh, Engard. I don't know why. I don't know what happens if you have both marksmanship and Engard, honestly. You can also put a penance armor if you have the first tier from a marriage. Yeah, exactly. You can always use Engard. Oh, really? That's... Oh, true. I didn't think about that. I absolutely didn't think about that. So, now I think I want another uh, explosive vial. I want to reach six explosive vials, and then we are gonna defeat the Spectre Knight. You will see. Oh wait, you said uh, I have al I am allowed to use wait white vial. I'm allowed to use run just while farming. Oh, but now them they guard as well. So no, I think it's better if I just uh, if I just uh, run from the menu. Hello, Frap of the stream's been nice. It's been very nice. The community is fantastic. Like they've been watching at me for four hours just uh, entering the battle against torture. Has anyone found out if the girl will still appreciate the doll as a gift if you just keep it on her instead of finding it while she's in the party? Uh, I don't think she does. Let me try. Uh, she didn't say anything, so I guess uh, she doesn't appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. The pinecone pig is carrying the stream. <laughs> the best guest ever. Maybe one day I will do streams with some guests. Maybe, you know what? Uh, I, w I, w I would really want to do a, s a stream with uh, maybe, potentially, Dark Raccoon. But I don't know what the, co the, the, the concept of the stream would be. Dark Raccoon is a, is a streamer that streams uh, um, Fear and Termina content. Propol is really going to sacrifice a child. No! No! Absolutely no! The real question is to who is your favorite Fear and character is Pinecone Pig. Just below the Pocket Cat. The Pocket Cat is the first one, then the Pinecone Pig. Some say it's been years since Frapolo found this one poor gentleman. Dark Raccoon, he's not giving me an explosive vial. I've been here for decades. Cloth Hood. Ah, 
the Pico Pig is carrying the stream to hell, to literal hell. Please, uh, just one. If you get one, I can get, uh, I can defeat the Specter Knight probably, potentially. Or some money. Silver coins, okay, that's good. Torture deserves this endless pain from the Pinecon Pig. <laughs> I love torture, I gotta be honest. Just throw cloth and explode doors with a critical. Yeah, absolutely! Absolutely, that's the best strat. That's the kind of strat you would go for. <laughs> How come you rescued the girl after the guard? Uh, is this part of the strats? It is, because with the girl... Uh, how is it said? I risked uh, her life. She is needed for one ending, but now that I have also the guard... <gasps> Finally! Thank you! <laughs> it only took 30 hours! It only took like 30 hours! Finally! Thank you, Panko Pig! <laughs> My gosh! I do have uh, 15 silver coins, I can buy another explosive bile if I want to. And I think I do. Thank you, Torture. <laughs> Let's get another item, then I'm gonna go for uh, the Spectre Knight. Please! Please! An item! No item. Also remember guys, probably I will make an announcement about this, but on Saturday there will be the streaming of the Anki S ending without empty scrolls. And imagine, in the previous run I didn't get uh, empty scrolls, and uh, in this run I'm not getting empty scrolls. I'm sure if I try the Anki S ending without empty scrolls, I will get like 17 empty scrolls, all from one single place. Is escape plan worth it as a skill? Definitely. Being able to escape almost surely from all battles is a god savior. Sell child to Satan tutorial work be very epic. <laughs> Torture is an Anunk after he was captured in the Jitaya Crusade and because of this he projects his lack of D and insecurity on his victim. Oh! Torture versus Frappolo crew pinecom pig racing. <laughs> I can feel the crow molar nearing. Oh, oh really? Wait. Uh, let, let me double check. Wait, the, is the Chrome Molar in the room? Wait. Uh. Hello? Is he on the other part? Hello? Maybe, maybe are you guys just trolling me? Are you just trolling me? I'm, uh... No, he's not here. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Thank you so much, chat. You're fantastic. You can see things I, even I cannot see. <laughs> Thank you so much. So. Let's go down there. Give the girl to the Hydra. No! No! I'm not gonna give the girl to the Hydra! <laughs> the terrifying presence was Pinecom Pig. <laughs> Imagine, two figures enter the room. One is a scary beast that brings with him a lot of insecurity and sadness and madness. And the other one is the crow molar. Imagine. So wait, 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 wait. I need to go... I need to go into the level 1 to unlock blood portal. Then... How many torches do I have? Five. Sacrifice the, co the girl. No, I'm not gonna sacrifice the girl. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't hear the crow molar actually. I was thinking about the pineco pig a lot. Okay. So I think the best idea now. Uh, I have seven explosive vials, so I have uh, six plus one more in case I miss uh, on some parts of the specter of the specter knight with them. And I also should have. Uh, uh, no, I don't have a throwing knife. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I have six explosive vials plus uh, one that is gonna come with the 15 silver coins that I have here. Will you do a marriage or ask the Lady of the Moon? I will do a marriage because uh, I need uh, the, the girl for ending A. In this run, I really want to attempt all the endings. I don't know if that will be achievable, but I'm gonna try. Let me see, okay. So, uh, I could also kill Isaiah, 
I could actually just kill Isaiah, so I get uh, the map for to get, uh, you know, uh, 70 silver coins, so I don't need to rely too much on uh, the pinecone pig. You know what? You know what? Goodbye, Isaiah. Thank you for coming. We will need more farming with the pinecone pig, but I think this is worth it. Boom! Okay. I only needed one explosive vial. Boom! <laughs> Guys, can I can I just say the crow molar is at Sundere. There are some times in which he doesn't appear at all, and there are some moments in which he just wants to get to get your attention immediately. The the, the crow molar is at Sundere. He's literally at Sundere. My gosh. Ah. So we're gonna do one thing now. Please save somewhere. True, I could save, but I think before saving, I want to actually get uh, better stuff. But you know, saving could actually be a good idea. The problem is, uh, if I save on this floor, then uh, someone is gonna attack me. And I need a way to, to protect myself. Glass vial. Do I have some nitroglycerin powder? Um, no. Okay. Is the Crowboller feared by other inhabitants of Fjernanger Dungeon? I don't think so. They're all pretty chilling. I mean, uh, technically, Buckman, uh, Seymour, uh, Serial, and Jean are all involved with the with the, the Crowboller, but I don't know if they are if they fear him or something. Sometimes uh, he wants your attention. Sometimes he wants nothing to do with you. So it is a cat. <laughs> I gotta say, that was the, the, the nearest the Crow Molar arrived to me, like, at all. The nearest. I've never been able to see him this closely, this quickly. Please, give me some money. Uh, I was remembering, uh, the, the, the other silver coins, uh, the one in Mahabre, are behind the, the Black Witch. And I don't want to fight the Black Witch immediately. But I need to pass through that point uh, if I want to take the silver coins. Uh, and uh, with, uh, without dash, uh, the Black Witch is gonna kill me. So I need uh, the, the, to make a marriage. Uh, to make a marriage, uh, I need uh, I need to be to 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 to, 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 to overcome uh, the Specter Knight because behind the Specter Knight there is an empty scroll, and I'm gonna use the empty scroll to get necromancy. As long as you don't make them mad. Komodo is both a cat and a tsundere. <laughs> Purifying talisman, okay. Also, you know what I could do? I could get uh, Ragnavalder. Ragnavalder cannot be in the party while the guard is here, regardless. And getting it is useful because uh, that way um, I make a marriage with him, so I don't need to waste a part another party member because you know, uh, you know, uh, the guard is needed for uh, ending C. And. Uh, Ragnavalder is not needed for anything. Levi would 360 no scope the crow molar. <laughs> so we're gonna go in the thicket. Hello. That will just sort itself out. Also, oh no, there is the dog though. There is a dog. Am I able to take on the dog with explosive vials? Yes, I am. Extra, actually, I am able to take on the the dogs with the vials. Uh, in my opinion. So, uh, moldy bread, moldy bread, moldy bread. Kromoli is the captain of the dun- No, ah, spoiler! I'm not, I'm not gonna take- I'm gonna say it out loud. So, uh, explosive vial, explosive vial, explosive vial. Please go down, please, 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 please. Okay. <laughs> Both. <laughs> not gonna use the soul stone. Oh, wait, uh, why not? I am gonna use the soul stone. Now, there should be a stick. Probably the dogs left it here. Okay. And another one. Yeah, yeah, he asked. That's why I didn't delete the comment. But uh, I didn't say it out loud, fortunately. 
because maybe people that don't want to know about it uh, don't want to, to hear it. So the Chromoler can actually attack you while you're here. Please, Chromoler, don't attack me. Please. Let's use a torch because I can't see anything. Please. Oh. Empty scroll. Eagle Crest Shield, okay. I mean, I mean uh, Kahara will leave uh, more. I'm gonna drink a little bit. Wait a second. Ah. What is the Chromoler lore? Wrong answers only. Okay, so the Chromoler is actually one of the um, the apostles of the gods, and he was sent into the dungeon because uh, uh, there is actually the um, there is actually a god of ultraviolence inside the dungeon, which is Ragnavaldr, and the the purpose of the Chromoler is to defeat the Ragnavaldr without uh, having to deal any damage to the others. That's the real story of the Chromoler. I love your fear and anger content. Your videos are streams are very enjoyable. I just wanted you to know. Oh, thank you so much. Sayonara, goodbye. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Have you seen crows being petted? No, I didn't. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Okay. Come on, is just some guy in a crow mask. <laughs> Wait. Uh, why isn't Ragnavaldor here? Oh, I didn't talk to him uh, up there. Uh, I mean, I have Blood Portal, so that's not a problem. Bird Lover failed to make a home for crows, so he decided to become the crow. <laughs> okay, this could actually be a very good uh, good idea. Like, talking about the Fear and Anger lore, but only wrong answers. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I, I, want to, I want to ask something too, then. Tell me, who is Legard? Who is Legard? What is the best way of uh, gifting you a horse? Gifting me a horse? What do you mean? <laughs> gifting me a... You mean literally the, 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 the horse? Why would you... Do you want to give me to gift me a horse, really? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> That's a very strange question. <laughs> Sorry, my friend, but... I, can, can you explain better? Legard's real name is Red. <laughs> I have an extra horse. I mean, you can just send it to my address. I'm gonna pri I'm gonna send you my address in private. I mean, uh, I have to put it near my Lamborghini probably and my swimming pool. I'm just joking, of course. Since you said you're gonna give gift me a horse, <laughs> Legard is a case of mistaken identity, and now he's really committed to the bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Mumbler's kind of neck, though. Ah, uh, no. The guard is a prison guard who left the dungeon. The other guards got jealous and caught him. <laughs> that's my favorite one. That's I. That has to become canon. That has to become ca the canon story of Legard. <laughs> the other guards <laughs> caught him because they were jealous. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't use the flower. Okay. Okay. Mumble is be kind of thick. Eh, uh, a, a little bit. A little bit. No. 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 Why are you looking at me? You have never looked at me. Like in all the runs that I did, I, I did like thirty runs. I mean. If we count also the runs that I didn't, that I, that I failed, like resetting immediately. Oh 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 no! The Chromoler destroyed the wall. I have to, I have to move. I have to move. The Chromoler destroyed the wall. Please. Okay, it's done. Wait. Uh, actually, I need to reach the door because in the door there I can trigger the the blood portal. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. If, I know if you as Ragna and as Kahara for marriage, he says so easy on him with that package of his pants. <laughs> Rag became a brain flower. Yeah, in an, uh, I think a battle that is not uh, triggerable, he did became a brain flower. Okay, so now that we are here, I need the Ragnavaldr. So we're gonna travel through the thicket all over again. Frapolo lore, wrong answers only. Frapolo lore? Oh, I mean, almost no one knows uh, a lot about me, technically. I mean, if uh, Zeusone is in the chat, maybe he can spoil you the, my whole lore. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Who are you gonna marry? Uh, Ragnavaldr. 
Uh, not counting me in real life. Uh, oh, uh, then we have to go. We have to go outside. I can bring you to an to an uh, appointment to a date. Sorry, it's called date. I'm the biggest bird. Uh, hello, Gandalf. <laughs> You seem familiar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? I'm Ragnavaldor. Okay, now we just go to the thicket. Uh, more like a crap. Oy! <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> Is my content that bad? I tried my best. <laughs> Is it that bad? It's Karnaki telling us it's ghost bank. <laughs> Trapolo closes kitchen drawers with his lips. Uh oh, that's actually true. That's not uh, wrong answers. So technically, you did a you did a mistake. I'm joking, of course. Trapolo is true ending Anki, trying to get enlightened again in the dungeons. <laughs> do they die if you do not recruit them? They uh, it depends. It depends on terror and starvation, especially. It should depend. Anki becomes uh, a marriage in terror and starvation once you reach uh, Mahabre in the present and you go over the arc. Ragnavalder gets possessed by a brain flower. The, the girl uh, doesn't die. Lagarde does die. Darcy, if you reach her and then you leave the zone, she will die. And I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Did I say all of them? Okay, um, you Ragnavalder, you, you Sassibaka, give me your stuff because you're gonna die. I can't believe Frap kisses drawers. <laughs> okay, now that we are here, I'm not gonna... There is no way for me to defeat the ghosts, actually. Maybe there is another worldly item. Like, you know, ghosts uh, can only be attacked by an element called otherworldly. Uh, and um, I don't know if there is items that can deal that I that uh, uh, element as damage. Frapolo is actually rag-tier physic. No, but I'm, I'm, let, that's my, not a rag in specific, but I aspire to become, uh, like, with a good physique, like, uh, when I was uh, younger, I used to be very fat, like, uh, when I was uh, in middle school, everyone made fun of me because uh, I did put ketchup on everything, literally, I, uh, I'm gonna make a confession to you, uh, Frapolo, Cave Dweller, Merchant, Smash or Pass, Smash, of course, I'm gonna make a confession to you, when I was uh, in middle school, it's not really a confession. When I was in middle school, I used to put ketchup on everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So, I was eating pizza, ketchup. I was eating uh, cheese, ketchup. I was eating, uh, I don't know, uh, um, bread, ketchup. Uh, could you maybe elaborate on the situation with Darcy in the Darth? Oh, that's not, sorry. Uh, Darcy is not only in the hardest difficulty. She will always die if you reach her and see that she is being slapped by by the the cave dwellers, and you leave the zone. If you leave the zone in the sense that you change the zone, or if you go over the yellow mage, like in that part of the room, she will die. Uh, disgust the Italian noise. Ketchup gelato. <laughs> Who loved bread and ketchup? <laughs> That's horrendous. That's just me. <laughs> I liked it. More like fig polo. <laughs> now, now, not fortunately, because there is not wrong with, nothing wrong with that technically. I mean, there are some problems that may be caused by being fat, but uh, whatever. Now I'm not fat anymore, and I, 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 I am well nutritioned. Let's say, let's say like that. I no longer eat pizza with with ketchup. <laughs> I used to do the exact same thing, and then one day I suddenly found ketchup disgusting randomly. That's maybe one of the best things that can happen if you if you find yourself in that situation, because otherwise you're just gonna keep eating it. Good luck with your stream, and uh, good night, people. Bye. Oh, good night, Mar. Thanks so much for coming. Ketchup is DD. <laughs> ketchup is DD. Okay, so it's time to. No. Yes. Uh... Very well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. <sighs> uh, tell me... Okay. I'm gonna censor it after I finish the, the stream. No worries. Uh, no worries. Okay, for Polo. After the stream, you have to get them... Uh, <laughs> <I> got, yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, okay. The first one names the marriage. Go ahead. The first one names the marriage. Yog Hurt. Okay. Yog Hurt wins. Wait, Yog Hurt Potato. I can't breathe my cheeks hurt. <laughs> Propolo ketchup. <laughs> it's done. Okay. Now we have dash once again. Could you use giveaway? Give uh, I don't know how to use that. I will inform before next uh, streaming. Don't forget about the sensor in editing, lol. I, I know Termina still had a couple things she forgot to censor. Uh, Tenma? Uh, who is Tenma? The Dema Demagorg. <laughs> Steve from work. Finally, speed. I am speed. Now, where is torture? Torture! I need you. I need to defeat. Uh, I need the explosive. Va Wait. Uh, where is torture? Uh. Hello? Did I miss uh, torture? Bro. Did Torture just uh, leave? Kumola got him! <laughs> Did you lead them to the top of the room? Oh wait, uh, oops! No! Uh... <laughs> Where did Torture go? <laughs> he got ending... <laughs> what happened? Did I really lose torture? <laughs> How's the, how does that work? Oh no! Crow Moler! Is it you again? <laughs> Please? Is it here? Oh uh oh! Okay guys, are we gonna risk it? We are gonna risk it! Hello? Okay. Whew. How many torches have you got? I have uh, one torch and I can make five more. Crow roller. He's Raul. Ah. <sighs> Torture. This never happened to me. Did he just? This. Oh, oh, hi, Bachman. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care about you. Yeah. 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 Go. Go, go away. Uh, torture. <laughs> torture. <laughs> what the? <laughs> torture. He jumped into the toilet, probably. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Backman trigger him. No, it doesn't make sense. Like a uh, torture shouldn't shouldn't disappear. Like what? No, he didn't die. How could he die? Nothing happened. <laughs> there is something else that I can farm. Yeah, the Hydra. No, I think I will farm the, the Butterfly. I think I will farm the Butterfly. It's gonna be slower than... Uh, than... Uh, than uh, the, the usual. But it's the only thing we can do. No! Oh uh, wait, uh, I have to craft another pinecone pig because I, I I did it while having the pinecone pig. Oh no, wait, uh, I had it uh, un unequipped, whatever. I have two pinecone pigs now. So, um, Torture decided that he wanted to do a, a little walk. He will come back later. What action this spawned the Torture? <laughs> I gotta be honest, I, I, if I wanted, I could go through the game uh, code and try to uh, understand what happened. But for now, I don't want to. I really don't want to. He's pulling a pro gamer move. <laughs> good luck with the ramp prep. Gotta go, adios. Good luck. Uh, go, go, yeah, good luck. Good night, Morisent2103. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Uh, let, let's try again. I would bet it was becoming a marriage if I had to guess. <laughs> Please, give me some explosive vials, otherwise I cannot defeat. Uh, I cannot. Wait, uh, now that I have, uh, now that I have, uh, no wait, uh, I cannot. Uh, if I try to, ah, I don't know what to say. Uh, good night, chat. It's late here in Europe. All of you, frap. 
Love you too, Berserker. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, if I get the Cube of the Depths, then the, the little fellas are just gonna attack me. And I don't have a way to defeat the Salmon Snake for now. Replace the girl with torture. <laughs> Throwing knife. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Torture's need, uh, needed a bathroom break. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where did he go. Like... Uh, Whoa? I, I, I don't know. But still. Um... Uh, if I'm able to get some explosive vials or some money, we are gonna defeat the Spectre Knight. Miss Kapalapi P. Then go. Then go P. Larissa. Larissa is a very particular name, though. I've never heard of it. Torture probably heard marriage noises and decided to give you privacy. <laughs> Bill or Torture? Bill. Bill. Okay. Come on, give me just one explosive vial. It's not possible that you're not giving me anything. <sighs> we can do one thing in the meantime. There is one guaranteed explosive vial in the caves. In the infested part of the mines. I like the way you pronounce it. It's an unusual name in my country and I got booked for it as a kid. Really? That sounds a very interesting name. Like a... It reminds me, you know, Darcy is based on, is based on Darcy Catalyst. Uh, Catalyst has a similar sound to, La sound to Larissa. I like those, those kind of names uh, with double S, let's say. You know, since someone lost his arm, <laughs> trying to make his own marriage. <laughs> yeah, true, maybe maybe he's trying to uh, convince Bachman to resolve their problems by becoming a marriage. Would this run be at first or did anyone complete this, this challenge already? I don't know of any documented attempts. So, for what I think, it's the first attempt. For what I think. For what I think, in quotation marks. Um, they are uh, hungry. I need to give them some food. Dried meat is perfect for the purpose. Now, uh, do I have some nitroglycerin powder? I don't. Uh, ah. <laughs> We are watching history. <laughs> yeah, technically. Now, let's go to the caves. I want to unlock the blood portal in there. And I want to get the guaranteed uh, explosive vial. With three party members, I should be able to defeat uh, the Spectre Knight. But I don't have enough explosive vials, in my opinion. I don't know... Do you guys remember how many HP does... Uh, does um, the Spectre Knight have in hard mode? I mean, all the parts. Because I, if I remember correctly, it's around 200, but I, I'm not sure between 200 and 300. And you know, that's a big difference if your only weapon are throwing knives and explosive vials. Uh, when I saw Darcy, I pronounced it with a K because I thought it looked French. Understandable, completely understandable. Uh, there it is. This is the... <gasps> we weren't here before. Where did you come from? You just weren't here before. I'm gonna leave you a little gift. I'm gonna leave you a little gift. Where is the bear trap? Bear trap. Okay. Come. No. Uh-oh. No, that's not good. Let's go. Okay. Uh, no, no Moonless. Moonless uh, attacks automatically, so I cannot use it. I forgot there was the yellow mage here. It's time to kill it. It's time to kill it. Explosive vial. Explosive vial. Explosive vial. Goodbye. Okay. Soulstone on the yellow mage. And a soulstone. Okay. Nice trade. Crow Molar. You can be annoying sometimes. God is delicious, the emotions on this run. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like a... I feel very fragile. And so I feel very attached to all the things that I have. Explosive vials are OP. They are in case you're able to hit the, the head. If you're able to hit the head, they're really OP. Now. Uh, climb down. Uh, let me remember. Sass. Explosive vial, just uh, 1500 fantasy pipe bombs. 
Oh, really? I didn't know about that. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Let me go back to the this. Okay. Now... <laughs> sensor. Yeah, I did sensor. Oh, come on! Uh, Chromoler! 30 seconds passed from the start of the... from my entrance into this room. Explosive vial. There it is! Uh, Girl is starting to feel hungry. Uh, I have three, three ex explosive vials. Here there should be a chest and oh, a guard. No, 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 no. You would be able to pull off a Salmon Snake kill. Salmon Snake on the torso has a lot of HP. For sure, before attempting that, uh, I would need to kill the... the. Um... Oh, wait. Uh, no. I cannot give him the Gnomags because Gnomags uh, are a talk option. Oh... The Salmon Snake is gonna be a nightmare. Uh. Oh no. The Salmon Snake is straight up gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Die, Yeroma. <laughs> there needs to be a mod that makes a bind boom every time Chromo spawns. <laughs> that could be cool. That could be cool. You can get DX from K Mother. Yeah, I know, but uh, you cannot use them in battle. You cannot. You can only talk to the uh, to the Solmo Snake, and after that you can use them. But I cannot talk because it's in my rules. Also, let me see if uh, Torture decided to reappear magically. Torture, yoo hoo! Uh, nothing. Where the hell did Torture go? <laughs> We need the mode where you play as Pocket Cat and hunt people for heads. Cat is best. Cat is absolutely the best. I really would want that mode. Yeah, this challenge is hard. I would... Th I think uh, if I had a lot of explosive vials also, I wouldn't need this amount of uh, preparations. Also, let me see. Guys, you are really 100 people looking at me going around corridors to get explosive vials. Torture managed to escape the dungeon physically. <laughs> Does marriage not despawn him? Legit question. You know, actually, the only thing that changed between uh, uh, before and after is that I became a marriage. So maybe the marriage disables him for some very strange reason, I would say. Mm. Mm. No, no, I don't think he's in, the, he's in the secret room. We can check, we can check. I'm gonna go there regardless, so we can check. But I would really want some explosive vials now. Please, my friend, please. I don't want you guys to go to bed without me killing at least the Spectre Knight. Tell to Buckman to see if he gives you the dialogue for when torture dies. You're right. Also, if he does... Then uh, I'm gonna be able to find him uh, uh, near the near Seymour, and I'm gonna get 40 silver coins to get more explosive vials. Mules is breed, cause Mules got ah. Why are we building the butterfly? Because torture disappeared. <laughs> torture disappeared, <laughs> literally. Sometimes when you talk with the butterfly, a nice pig hops by. <laughs> Please, nothing. <sighs> I feel like Orange is watching the stream and is manipulating my RNG. Like, it's not possible that I'm not able to get a single explosive vial from the Pinecone Pig. Why does the Cockroach King want this guy dead again? Because uh, if, I, if he finds uh, an, an insult trying to become a butterfly or something like that. I don't remember exactly the, the line, but it's uh, uh, like he considered this action an insult. Because he is impure and uh, he cannot uh, aspire to, to fly or something. Okay. Please, uh, give me an item, then I'm gonna go to, to check if Buckman says that thing. Silver coins, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Now, how many silver coins do I have again? Wait. Uh, where are they? Uh, t 30. 30 is two explosive vials. That's very good. Good night, lads. May Pocket Cat bless you with good RNG. Thank you so much, Magats Magatsu Dreamer. Oh, you're mixing uh, Magatsu and uh, Azriel Dreamer. Interesting. Well, good night, lads. Okay. 
Orange is watching and laughing maniacally. Actually, as I said, like, a previous time while doing Ragnavaldra's ending, I don't think uh, um, Orange actually knows I exist. I don't think he knows. Man, you're just torturing it now. Leave him alone. <laughs> Let me see if Bachman says that. Actually, when I entered the room before, it seemed like he was telling something like that. So maybe torture died because reasons? Uh, because something something lore? Why this is relentless? No, uh, torture is still alive. But where? <laughs> where? <laughs> <laughs> Bro bled out. Uh, enemies cannot bled out, bleed out, like, uh, it's not a mechanic. When can I see you play a game that I understand too? Uh, I mean, Fjernagger is not complex once you de de delve in in enough into it, uh, let's say. Uh, but uh, in the future I may play other games after I finish also Termina, but uh, after I finish also Termina means we are gonna be here for a while. Here there are no torches. Pac-Man Lantern. <laughs> There is another torch here, no, then there is one in the library. That should be the last torch that, I st that I'm still missing. Right here. Wait, uh, another one? Another one? Huh? Maybe he's in the inventory, yeah. <laughs> torture is definitely gonna be in the inventory. Where is the last torch? There is definitely one place that I, did that I, didn't, I didn't light up. Where is it? Am I blind? Near Buckman? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Fabulises. Fab Fabulises. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Okay, so. Now we're gonna see if for some reason Torture is able to reach uh, the secret room and we didn't know it. Hello there. No. <laughs> he is not here. He is not here. I've seen your reviewer saying to skip this game and go straight for Temmina. No, I don't agree. Uh, I don't. Ag I disagree with them completely. See, in this game, torture disappears. Like it's perfect. It's the best game of the world. Now, uh, who did you get married to? To Ragnavaldor, because uh, regardless of that, Ragnavaldor and Legard cannot stay in the same party uh, once you reach Mahabre. Technically, they can. But since Ragnavaldo is not needed for any endings, then I just decided to kill it. To, to use it for the marriage, I mean. Let's uh, keep these uh, food bars under control. We're gonna have infinite food in the future, so no problem. Uh, now, I think the best thing to do is to go in the Cave Dweller City. The, the, the Night Lurch is still there. My bear trap disappeared! No! I didn't know they disappeared when you leave the area. That's unfortunate. Oh, hello Lalolanda! Welcome to see. Uh, so you can't reach Pen and Summer anymore? No, I cannot, but I wouldn't have taken that regardless. I mean, uh, that would be nice, right? <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I wouldn't have taken it. That's a lie. I would have taken it, but since I cannot get it anymore, I don't want to get pissed by, by myself. Alright, good night, go see you on Friday. Okay, explosive vial and explosive vial. Now, can we get some more things? Uh, Eagle Crash Shield. Throwing dart, that's very good. Throwing dart! The, that's very good. Okay. We can actually try the Spectre Knight. Well, another throwing knife! Okay, we can definitely try the throwing the, the, the Spectre Knight. Hello, my fellow Geometry Dash Smuff and Fiction Riders. What? <laughs> Geometry Dash? I've never. I, I didn't hear of that game for like uh, years. But I know that the community is still living, uh, is still alive and kicking. Like, uh, they released these very difficult levels or something, uh, but I don't know anything else. Wooden Buckler. Lockpicking. Empty scroll. Empty scroll. Ring of Drapes. That's uh, usable. That's usable. That's uh, definitely usable. I'll take it. Now, I'm not gonna take uh, the, the Cube of the Depths because I don't want the Cape Dwellers to attack me. I'm just gonna go to the Spectre Knight. And we'll see what happens. I do have 
five explosive vials and then some throwing knives in case I miss some explosive vials. This is not a terrible attempt in my opinion. If I die, then next streaming we're gonna... Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna risk. This time I'm not gonna risk since I'm so near to defeating one boss. Okay. Reset the area. Now it should be okay. <sighs> uh oh. Is he gonna attack me? Okay. Now, Night Lurch, look how. Wait, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, bear trap. Okay. Now you don't have your legs anymore. How does it feel? Okay. We should be able to reach the Spectre Knight down here. I'm not sure. No, wait. Uh, I. No. In this confirmation, we cannot. We can only through. By passing through the point in which there is the Yellow Mage. I'm really scared I'm gonna. I'm gonna get uh, one of my limbs destroyed. Because as you can see, there are minecarts. They block my passage. Do we try to take down the, the Yellow Mage or do I try to run? You guys tell me. The run is going pretty well, Robin V. Mars. I'm almost to the point of defeating one boss. One. Do I... Uh, do I rush? Or do I fight the Yellow Mage? You guys decide. You can go up. I need to go down to reach the Spectre Knight. Take him out. Hmm. The operator on explosive fire is kinda low. You killed one, what's one more? Yeah, the point is, uh, if I kill it, uh, I don't have enough uh, explosive vials to, to destroy the Spectre Knight. You know what? This is a good moment to use the Book of, the book of Enlightenment. Okay. We're gonna test. Okay, no limb losses. Now, please, okay. Did you already take some stones? True, the stones are uh, another fo another way to damage stuff. I could take them later. Uh, oops. Okay. It's time. Yogurt, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Explosive vial number one. Good. Only... Oh wait, the PP. Oh oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have, I'm gonna chance this after the stream. Oh uh oh, eh, I've left arm. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, and you use a, a throwing knife on one arm, please. Okay. How much luck does he have? I finished my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I only have the the, the the throwing knife. All of his body parts are still there. Oh my gosh. Oh! Thank you so much, Laura, for becoming a member. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate that. Now you can use the emojis. They're not a lot, but I'm adding more in the future. And you also have the crowmaller near your name. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, really. But still, <laughs> I wasn't able to win. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna need more explosive vials for that. But you know what? Honestly, I think for today we can stop here. Or actually, no, no, no. Add pinecone pig emote. I could actually do that. It seems interesting. Let's do one thing. I'm gonna take out this one. Since uh, no wait no 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 we're gonna we're gonna keep this for next time for today I think we can be satisfied with this we did set up a way to farm the pinecone pig even though uh, I you really guys want me to go more right <laughs> keep the grind going okay the message is disappeared okay so. Uh, today we did a lot of useful stuff. Now we have uh, a way to farm infinitely with the pinecone pig, and we have a lot of explosive vials. 
We could do something. We could uh, more, please. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll go. I'll continue. Thirty more minutes. Uh, I'm so excited. Like, uh, I'm so excited to see you uh, so invested in this. I will continue for thirty more minutes or something. So, let's go. I wanted to end it, but seeing uh, all of your support, like all of you saying, no, please do it. Uh, I, I really love that. Uh, it's like, I don't have to rest because tomorrow morning I don't have lessons. Uh, but it's also because I don't live alone. And uh, in this moment, uh, I think uh, the other ones are getting pretty angry at me talking, you know. <laughs> so, that's another problem. Let's see if Torture respawned after... No, it didn't. Uh, Buckman. Buckman. Uh, uh, the, the, the Torture is not here anymore. What are you afraid of? If you have to rest, you have to rest. But we are sure having fun here. Yeah, I'm having fun too. That's why I, I decided to, to play 30 more minutes, of course. Also because of the support, but also because I'm having fun too. I mean, if I didn't have fun, I wouldn't do this. If I wasn't having fun, I would just go to bed. This about drive, this about power. We stay hungry, we devour. That's a good uh, rhyme. My broadcaster getting manipulated. <laughs> no, that's not true. Also... I could take Anki. I could take Anki, actually. As a party member. We love you for it. Aww. I gotta wake up, uh, wake up to 6 for university too, but Fjern Nanger, ta Fjern Nanger ta takes priority. Aww. That's, uh, like, wake up at 6. Oh my gosh. I think you should get the sleep then, if you need to wake up at 6. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Give me something useful. Let me put on the music. The music is gonna uh, make this uh, very, very more calm. Oh, wait, I by accident opened Discord. <laughs> wait, let me close it. Okay. As I was saying. Ah. <sighs> If only I was able... I mean, if Torture has to disappear, at least give me the, the, the money for Bachman. But still, that was very... Uh, I don't know uh, if I should be... I'm not happy. Like, uh, we, we used uh, five explosive vials on, uh, on the Spectre Knight, and a lot of his body parts were still there. Butterfly looks like Spanton. Uh-oh. That's kinda true? Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> First name, last name! Thank you so much! There is the ad! Thank you so much for the $20 donation, my friend! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, dude, you donated like... Uh, thank you so much for the follow also, the low... the lower 3000. First name, last name. You donated even last stream. Calm down. I really appreciate it, but please keep it also for yourself. Like I of course appreciate it, but uh, no worries. I can uh, I, like I'm literally streaming me attacking a naked guy. <laughs> like <laughs> the stream lives on. I'm happy to know you're having fun. <laughs> After this, I I need I have to continue. Like let me let me take off my. Uh, how do you call this? It's not a coat. Uh, it's uh, I don't know how to call it in English. It's not it's not the coat. It's the one that you take uh, that you put uh, uh, over the shirt. Uh, I don't know the name. I did took I did take it off because I'm uh, yeah. It's like a little jacket, and uh, I was I was uh, sweating a little bit. <laughs> the robe. Yeah, I don't know the exact name. Uh, in Italy, in Italian it would be felpa, but I don't know in English. <laughs> like a vest, yeah, the one with the, the thing that you can... The zip, the one with the zip. Thank you so much, first name, last name, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Eduardo Blasco Sevilla for the follow. Thank you so much. The hoodie! Oh, the hoodie! That's true! There is also a game of Digimon, if I remember correctly, that's called uh, Cyber's Love Hacker's Memory, in which you are the team uh, hoodie. True. And now I remember. 
Gosh, uh, someone here played the Digimon, like, uh, you, um, some days ago I started playing the Digimon TCG, the new Digimon TCG that dropped, like, in 2020, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I'm not playing at, like, competitive levels, I'm just, play I'm just playing with my brother sometimes, uh, but it's very fun. The, the new one, the 2020 one, the, uh, it's just called Digimon TCG. The one where there is the memory, and you gain memory at the start. Uh, you gain free memory at the start of the turn if the opponent uh, passed the turn. That kind of game. Oh, finally, <laughs> Panko Pig! <laughs> After all this battle, you triggered for to give me a wooden buckler. Oh my gosh! Digimon got a TCG. Yeah, actually, it had a TCG in the 1999, but it lasted for like uh, three years or two years. And then, in 2020, now there is an actual TCG. Like a TCG that is going, that has a, a good enough fan base. A good, a good enough big, I, I mean. Pinecom Pig, my beloved. We all love the Pinecom Pig. He deserves the love. One that deserves the love but doesn't get is uh, Pocket Cat. A lot of people I, I saw don't like Pocket Cat. Like, I mean, don't like the concept of Pocket Cat, but I mean, as a character, it's great. Fear and Anger TCG? <gasps> you know, that would be very cool. Fear and Anger TCG? Like, the purpose is to escape the dungeon, so there is not really someone that wins, there is someone that doesn't lose. Oh my gosh, that seems very interesting. And this seems to be some investigation on RPG Maker to see the code for tor torture. True, you know what, maybe in like 15 minutes uh, I'm gonna change the streaming page to RPG Maker MB and we're gonna try to see what happens to torture. <laughs> Not a lot of time, I'm gonna just uh, check the basics uh, and let's see. If they combine Fear and Anger 1 and Termina, they have a lot of enemies which they can make cards from. Would be really cool. I'm more okay with Pocket Cat now than I was. Interesting. Also, the cards could be the way to show even the cat content enemies. I don't know, there is a horse in the game files of the Fear and Anger 1 that is not present in the game as an enemy. Pocket Cat would get less hate if it was more clear that he just killed. <laughs> True. But I mean, uh, I love it also for that part, uh, like, uh, I, I, I don't love what it does, uh, but uh, I like uh, the idea of a, ca uh, of a character this macabre. Do you understand me? Fjernanger Tarot cards! Ooh, that seems very good. Lovers uh, is uh, the bunny masks, uh, for example. Yeah, the folklore aspect of it. Uh, like, uh, I, if someone comes at me and tells me, yeah, you know that I do these with children, then of course I'm just gonna say, bro. Get get helped, but if but as a character in a fictional story, I like it. I don't know if I can convey it properly with my words. A, a tabletop fear nugger would be spot on too. Uh, actually, uh, um, someone, uh, an Italian guy actually asked me to give him all the maps uh, of fear nugger because he wanted to do a D&D campaign, and I don't know if that's the one you're referring to, Edobo uh, Eboloid. Uh, I can check the name uh, later. This guy asked me all the maps of Fear and Anger. I think I gave it. Uh, I gave him all of them, and uh, he said he wanted to use them for a, Fear, uh, a Dungeon and Dragon campaign. It's like this pocket cat. <laughs> Don't think merch really works for something like this. Uh, mm, yeah, it depends from the merch, maybe. Like you know, Dark Souls made a, a freaking board game, and it worked uh, a little bit. So maybe if this one does, I don't know, action figures uh, or something, miniatures or of uh, Legard uh, or something like that, it could be cool. Also, are you noticing uh, the, the Pico Pig is not triggering? Why? It's been 10 years. Maybe if I do this, uh, it's gonna trigger more. Oh, okay. Red Herb. <laughs> What, uh, what you don't want to get a pocket cut uh, plush and then have to explain to anyone the visit to who is he and what he does. I mean, you don't have to explain, you can just say he's a character in the game, an unplayable character, and that is, uh, that's it. I'd like the concept of this incomprehensible creature that serves rare for apparently. Uh, sorry for if I said that thing. It is, it's a little bit of a spoiler because technically you shouldn't know the name if you're number one, but whatever. Just wish he was a bit more than Fantasy Joker. <laughs> I forgot board games and stuff. Too stuck into the weeb life. 
Understandable. I would buy a figurine of the God of Fear. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Rina, Rina dot here. That's uh, that's a little bit of a, of a spoiler. <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to delete it, but that's a little bit of a spoiler. I would buy a Chibika hard to put on my bed. Imagine if they made it with removable leaf. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the oh imagine a plushie a splatter plushie like a gore plushie when you open it blood splurts out of its limbs <laughs> yeah i'm sorry me i'm sorry i hope you understand <laughs> i'm sorry Fernanga could make a cool board game like Pathologic. Yeah, or maybe also like Dark Souls. Eh, <laughs> Torture Plushy. <laughs> I would pay for a Torture Plushy. I would pay. I would pay good money. Please? Water vial. A figure of the God of the Dis... Uh, yeah, yeah, the God of the Destruction would be very good as a figure. Probably something that would go in a museum. Maybe... Imagine a, a, a one a scale, uh, I don't know how to say it, a one one scale of the God of Destruction. That would be very cool. Like, so big. I get fear and one and terminal lore mixed up in my head, so I forget the name is a spoiler, but if I remember correctly, the new gods tell you who he serves, right? Technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. But they don't say the name. They don't say the name. Gods forbid a Sylvian figure. <laughs> Pocket Cat is a horrible character, but he's painted in a deceptive light. He's Fjernanger Boogeyman. Yeah, like, uh, you know, the, those characters in the story that, that are, like, uh, not made to be, like, uh, the ones the, 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 the viewer side with. But they exist, and we have to acknowledge that. And the way they, like, uh, those characters are made well, if they, if you don't want to, to side with them, if you don't like them, if you despise them. And that's why I say uh, Pocket Cat is one of my favorite characters. Because I despise him, and that means uh, its character works. Does that make sense? Like, uh, if I if I said, uh, haha, the, the thing Pocket Cats does uh, uh, are cool, uh, then I wouldn't have understood the point of Pocket Cat. A Fear and Anger style D&D campaign would be kinda sick. Imagine the player attacking something and you drop pulse and anxiety. <laughs> You know, my original idea for the donation uh, sound uh, was to put uh, Pulse and Anxiety, but then I thought I would get scared of it. So I just decided no, no, I'm not gonna to. Okay guys, uh, let's do something. I'm gonna go to... I, actually, I don't think I need to I need to sleep to save because I didn't do really anything. We're gonna continue this uh, next time. Now, we're gonna do one thing. I'm gonna open the game files and we're gonna see if we are able to understand what is the cause of torture disappearing. I'm not gonna stream too much of it, like only 15 minutes or 20. We're gonna see if we're able to understand it. Okay? So... I have to put uh, the screen on, let me... I have to add a new source. And... Uh, RPG Maker. Why isn't it appearing? Why isn't it appearing? Hello? Uh... Okay, this isn't appearing, so I'm gonna do a different thing. I'm gonna uh, stream my whole screen. Technically, this should be okay. Okay, guys, you're gonna see me. This is ha what I'm looking at while, uh, while, I, while, I, while I play. This is what I'm looking at. The game <laughs> and you. Now, I'm gonna close... Uh, here and hunger and this is the game okay also let me get the chat let, let's do one thing so uh, let me let me change I, mean, I was not prepared for this okay this can go here and you chat can go here okay 
People often don't know how to verbalize this, but really the only thing they mean by good character is memorable. Yeah, exactly. Like, a good character is not only the memorable one. There are also, uh, like, characters that make uh, low appearances, like... Uh, uh, let's take Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, uh, like, uh, who is your favorite character? Solaire? I mean, if you're based, okay. But, uh, like, my favorite character in Dark Souls is uh, Sigmire. Even though he's not appearing so much through the game. Even though he... Da or, or even... Uh, how was that called? Uh, um, uh, Gwendolyn is another one of the characters that I really like. But still... I think what makes Pocket Cat scary for me is that he has many folklore and stories told to kids. So to find out he is real in Fjernanger poses the question of how many horror stories are. True. Also, let me do something. Let me change the farming music. Uh oh, wait, I don't think I can open these. Oh wait, yeah, I can, I can, I can. No, wait, I cannot. There are, <laughs> there are some sus things there. Let me do one thing. Okay! A little change of music, now it's birdly time! Okay, so... <gasps> D! Please! Stop! <laughs> D, I'm, I'm really appreciating you! Like, thank you so much for the 20,000 IDR donation for our housemates because you're extending the stream! Thank you so much, D! But really, you don't have to do this! I really appreciate it! You are... you're a god savior! Like, I love you, but please, you don't have to do this, you already did it, I love you already, and the, the, the thing is not appearing, why? Oh, because I, oh, oh, I, I see why, wait, I'm gonna replay it, I'm gonna replay it manually, okay, I'm so sorry <laughs> if, if, it, if it was covered by my screen, but thank you so much, D, I really appreciate that, and now... It's time to look at it. RPG Maker H game with really interesting lore. Tropolo has a game on the prequel. Yeah, uh, Black, I, I highly suggest to all of you that like uh, uh, like dark fantasy games with deep stories or something, and potentially some H elements that can be turned off, to play uh, Black Souls. Because it has a very good story, very interesting characters, a lot of references. I really like it. I, I highly suggest it. And now... It's time to look a little bit if we can find why torture works like that. So, if I remember correctly, it's the level 1 3. Okay. Torture is here in the cutscene which it comes at you. This uh, is the point in which it, it can spawn after uh, after you um, you interact with Buckman. Jan Rat, I think this is if you sell Jan to him. Okay. Mercenary torture. Uh, what is this one? Oh, this is if I take Jeanne, okay. Let me see, what is this one? Uh, sleeping. Oh, if this, this is if you sleep in the bed. So, let's try to understand. So, Jeanne Rat, uh, how can I help you? What kind of experience are you doing here? No, this is if he is already friend with you. We need to find the angry one, the one that attacks you. Rat Buckman, no, this is not the one. This is probably torture hit, torture patrolling. Okay, this is torture patrolling. Okay, so he's gonna be here if torture patrolling is on. If torture is dead, he's gonna become like that. Otherwise, if Buckman two, he's not gonna be present anymore. If forge torture, marriage select. Ah, uh, why, guys? We discovered why. You see this? This says. If Marriage Select is on, then this event is nothing. This event is Torture. If Marriage Select is on, Torture disappears. If uh, Abominable Marriage is on, Torture disappeared also. Why? <laughs> Why would he do that? What, what is the problem with that? He doesn't have any aims for Torture Marriage, so this is a, false, a fail safe. Yeah, but I mean, Backman is still there. What? Doesn't he care about Backman? Uh, uh, okay? But, but why? <laughs> okay, this is torture. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I guess uh, that's settled then. Mm. 
Torture left to give piracy was actually prescribed. <laughs> okay. That's a very a pretty good explanation. Also, if you want to do the test, does the marriage back happen if you already sell out Buckman? Uh, oh, wait a second! Laura! Thank you so much! P please tell me it's working. It's not working. I'm gonna play it in case it doesn't do. Thank you so much for the $5 donation! I'm gonna have to leave for now, but thanks for the stream. Thank you so much, my friend, for passing by. There it is! Thank you so much, really, but you don't, you don't have to do this, really. I just appreciate your company, guys. Like, we are 89 even now, that is uh, midnight. I really appreciate that, Laura, thank you so much. But anyways, that's it. Uh, so, torture will disappear. I think I need to... wait, we can do one thing. We can do one thing. I'm gonna go on my video of the penance armor here in live and I'm gonna add to the description the the thing about torture disappearing if you become a marriage or an abominable marriage okay that sound good with you so let's go here and down 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 here is when I still was bringing most of the quest paradox are uh, good memories also let me see at the chat while I do so there it is did you steal the key? No, I didn't. I cannot use uh, steal in the items for only run. Live for Apollo reaction. <laughs> there it is. How to get the penance armor. This is the video in which I mostly talk about torture. Uh, and, uh, important. Uh, important. Uh, tor. Uh, tor. Will disappear. If. Uh, you. Become. A marriage forever. Okay, important. Uh, important. Okay, and I think I should also I, sh I should also mention this in the Backman Quest video. So my, my PC is very slow with all the things that I'm running. So there it is. How to complete Backman Quest? There is already a video, uh, uh, an important, I want to say, important uh, number two. Draw tour, draw tour will disappear forever if you become a marriage. Okay. No, that's not a private... Um, uh, oh wait, yeah, that's a private Mosegal Quest Paradox video. That's the, the, the moment in which I stopped uh, actually publishing them because YouTube was giving problems. Uh, I did made it private in case I wanted to publish it and then I just didn't. That's the video in which I'm in the Colosseum. <laughs> but still, yeah, that's it. So, do we have something else to look at? I guess no. But maybe I could do this during the stream sometimes. I just look at... Uh, I don't know, events in the game. But for today, I think that's it. So, let me let me close this part. I think this should be good. Okay, let me just go here to say goodbye to all of you. And let's turn off this, the music of Birdly. Okay. So... Thank you so much, guys, for staying with me for all this time. I wasn't expecting an uh, item-only run, where I spend, uh, like, 90% of the time just uh, resetting battles with Torture, and now, supposedly, with the, the Butterfly, to get this amount of uh, spectators simultaneously. Like, I love you guys. I really love you. Thank you so much for coming. Your support is really appreciated. Without you... I would still play Fear and Anger, of course, but uh, I wouldn't feel the same motivation in uh, uh, inspecting the game files, understanding how stuff works, etc. Thank you so much, guys. Well, wish you a good night, and see you next time. <laughs>